So we have um, the three of you, our green recruits of the Coalition of Intrepid Adventurers, an independent investigative body dedicated to uncovering secrets, solving crimes, and otherwise preserving peace across the land. However you came to join the CIA is up to you. Um, the three of you have been sent out on your first mission. You were approached uh, via message, the message spell. Um, once your recruitment was done, uh, you received your first mission um, from a voice in your head telling you to meet these other people, a centaur named Adadash, a half-drow named Felderon, and a goliath named Dadarak at a, a landmark, a small shrine, uh, just a few miles south of the village of Greymoor. Um, one of you has probably been there. Yeah, what is this? Waiting uh, patiently. What does this shrine look like? It's uh, sort of an uh, I don't want to say agnostic shrine. It's an inclusive shrine. It's um, there's it's generic. There's a copse of trees and. Uh, in the faces of some of these trees in this clearing have been carved um, sim symbols, symbolism, um, effigies of the various gods, goddesses, um, mostly regional. There's, right. you know, they're, they're like local spirits and guardians so it's, and stuff. So it's not just like one guy shrine. It's like... A yeah, shrine. and there's, there's candles and there's like old dried... I mean, partially frozen flowers and other offerings. Uh, most of it looks like it's kind of been there for a while. Nobody really comes this way that often. And there is a campsite there. Uh, as I'm going to say Adadesh has been there before you guys because she's not a faster mover. So <laughs> um, right. the rest of you approach throughout the course of this day yeah well uh when i when i get there uh i i, I see what, what what do i what do i see you look like what do you look like uh, a centaur with green hair and a gray dapple coat on the lower body and a green tail cool yeah so i i just walk right past that and uh <laughs> go straight to the wall of this like myriad of uh different shrine things and i i start carving little mustaches onto the uh some of the faces of the gods there so but... i think i was also really close to the trees more than you know by the by the rendezvous point i was studying so when i see you do that you feel very cold eyes on you uh I don't know. My, I'm not sure. I'm very perceptive. My past perception's <laughs> at twelve. Do I notice these cold eyes staring at me? <laughs> you might be pretty focused on your mustache carving there. No, I, I get there and I and I see a couple of things. I look. I take one look at this. What I assume is just uh, a random horse person um, <laughs> next to a tree. Surely not an adventurer. Uh, but like he, he gives you this look, and you look at him, and, and he, he just gives you a look like, okay. Oh, and just keeps moving straight past you. Doesn't even consider you for a second. And starts carving the, carving and fucking around with things after a couple minutes. Would you mind not doing that? I'm sorry. Oh, hello, uh, horse person. Gus hello. I I wish you wouldn't deface the trees. Um. Well, most trees don't have faces. It seemed like a good time. If you were going to deface a tree, it would be when the tree had a face. It just seemed like the right thing to do. I'm sorry. Like a... Is this is this the god you worship? And and whatever it is, it's no longer recognizable. <laughs> I don't understand the the face or the tree. Oh, do you because... worship trees? Is are you? They're very valuable to me. And... Oh, I apologize. If it's the tree that you're very concerned about, then I'm I, I'm quite sorry. Um, that's so very rude of me. Um, 
would you feel better if I um, hmm, painted it as opposed to carving it? I think I might have a bit of dyes laying around here. No? No. Um, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be meeting someone here. Uh, so if you really have no business here, I think I might have to ask you to be on your way. Unfortunately, I have business as well. Uh, oh. I, I have to meet others here as well. Um, oh. Not to be rude, but uh, people have business from all sorts. I suppose. I just, you know, thought, well, I, what's your name? Could, could your business be my business? Ah, mm, highly unlikely. Um, okay. Maybe you tell me your name first. I'm not sure I want to give out my name to just a random passerby who is in love with trees. Uh, just... Well, I am Adadash. Oh, shit. Well, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Phil Aaron. <laughs> oh, well, this is going to go swimmingly, isn't it? Oh, great start already, yeah. Yes. Yes. At, at this point, you see a seven-foot-tall <laughs> ashen skin Goliath um, start ambling your way with, like, his hands on his hips. Uh, he's not as, from what you know of Goliaths, if you know anything about Goliaths, not as, like cut of muscle. He's kind of pudgy for a Goliath. And he walks up and he takes a big whiff of the air and says, quite a day, isn't it? I look up again because uh, I'm much shorter than both of the people that are here now. <laughs> I'm like, well, see, this at least seems more like an adventurer, right? Sort of. Uh, I assume that you are was it dad, da, 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 dad something? Da, 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 You can call me dad. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'd prefer not to, but sure, sure, dad. Mm. I don't uh, think I have a problem with that. Dad isn't a word we use, so yeah. Dad! Okay. Nice to meet you. Oh. So, this business of ours, uh, Yes, I, I haven't the really... foggiest clue. What you was you it. know that you oh, okay. you have been sent. You're you're to go to the village of Greymore to mm -hmm. investigate uh, a the the death of a knight, Sir Tims. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, that 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 information. I had it written down. Sorry. <laughs> he pulls out a cue card. Um, somebody named Tim died. The uh. Weather here, the climate here is very cold and frigid. You, you, you've never heard of Greymoor before, but you know this part of the continent is basically like thought of as the continent's like frigid asshole. It's just not pleasant. Nobody wants to be there. Why people live out here, you just you have no idea. Unless of course well, you like the cold, like <laughs> yeah, like certain certain races. Um, there's. Really not a whole lot. You haven't seen much for a while. There's this shrine, and then you know the village is a couple of miles down what passes for a road. There's a light frost on the ground, a bit of powdery snow. Well, <clears throat> well, it's uh, nice to meet you, uh, both of you. I apologize uh, if I came off as rude to begin here, but um, I guess we should go look for some dead guy named Tim. See if we can find his remains, investigate, do whatever it is we've been commanded by the good old coalition. That's right. Yes, let's might as well get started. It's a bit of a walk, I think, to town. Yes, uh, I may not be able to keep up with either of your strides, but uh, whew, he just starts jogging. <laughs> <laughs> you like uh, his no, jogging no pace is your guys' walking pace. So. I don't think I even I noticed. <laughs> oh, you, you've got you walk like twice as far with one step as I do, but like <laughs> I walk slow on purpose. I just yeah. have this very like wandering way about my walk. Oh, okay. So. Great. Then I think I'm in the lead. Yeah. Probably walking normally. Either that or you're just like really just crawling. <laughs> for everybody to keep pace 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we're we're heading down the path yonder DM. So you, you walk away. So it's fairly early in the day. Uh, you timed your arrivals or were instructed to time your arrivals such that you when you got there. Startling everything. You are meeting up with the uh, for lack of a better word, the sort of state coroner, coroner, a um, uh, a man who whose job it is to assist you in the investigation, but mostly he's there to tax the estate. And um, uh, you know that his name is Oswald. That oh, certain. Tim's... Great. I found another cue card. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, Sir Tim's was found about two weeks ago with a large gash across his midriff outside his home, his gate outside of Raymore. So that's what you know about the situation as All you right, make your way to town. Well, there you go, Dad and Dash. I've, I've actually, I've got, I've got the notes here. Now that I actually read them all, we shouldn't be looking for the dead guy named Tim. That might just take us forever. We're looking for a corner, actually. Um, so as we start wandering into town, I'm going to look for a building that looks like a place a coroner might chill, like a morgue. <laughs> What's a coroner? I mean, that's that's what the information I received was coroner. So I'm putting that down. What do you call a guy who makes a uh, who? What do you call a fantasy guy who makes a uh, makes 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 coffins? There's a name for him. What is it? Coffin maker. <laughs> All right. Funerary artisan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's official now. <laughs> That's canon. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, I believe we're looking for a funerary artisan. Uh, so you should all be able to see in Roll20, there is a map of the village. Uh, yeah. um, it's fairly generic. If you think of one of those uh, northern like log cabin villages in like Skyrim or everywhere um, there's sort of these roughshod buildings in various sizes um, not that many of them it's a small town but as you uh, wander up the main street, um, mm-hmm. but not that windy though you and people bundled fairly elegant um, a light mist. Yeah, you guys can like barely see me, by the way, in this in this mist with my like bleach, not bleach, but like whiter than bleach, white hair. No white hair. <laughs> yeah, and like my skin is just like pale gray, so I I pretty much just blend into this shit. <laughs> um. There's a cobbled street, actually. The 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 poor excuse for a path that you had been following slowly turns into this cobbled street, and there's a sort of a glassy sheen on it. It's kind of iced over a bit, and piles of snow drifts off to the side where they be shoveled. Um, your heavy boots or gloves or what have you carry you over it uh, towards the town square, number three. Okay. Standing. Number two. Off to the side, it's got a big sign uh, that says Greymore Bend for it, with like a rough etching of a deer stein. Absolutely clear what it is. Well, but, as far as I know, the uh, best way to figure out where something is is go ask the people that give people drinks. Um, drunk people always need directions back to wherever it is they need to go to, so... Uh, well, as you, as you approach the town square, you can see a uh, couple of towns gathered. Something that's lying. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> I craned my neck. Soon. Can I see over them? Uh, yeah, it's, it's not that hard for you. Um, it's it's definitely a body. Uh, oh, shit. A humanoid. Well, 
I, I nudge I nudge dad and I say, Hey, Dad. What do you think the chances that's did Tim over there? Probably not well. I doubt they would leave him out for two weeks. It's cold <laughs> here. Let me check. <laughs> and, uh, Dad will actually like charge forward and push through the crowd since <laughs> there's a uh, 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 there's soft mutterings kind of give way to like sort of like front sounds of like uh, hey watch it what are what are you doing who are you um, you hear somebody else mumbling like stood the, there's a tall half work woman standing on the opposite side kind of shaking her. Um, uh, and a a finely dressed man with remarkable jowls, uh, a stern set to his pinched features. Uh, he stands. He comes down on the por from the inn's porch as you force your way through, um, and he seems parks out in your direction. It's about time you got here. This. This trail isn't getting any warmer, you know. Not that anything around here is. It's... Oh, I suppose you must be the funerary artisan. The... Uh, what? Uh, I don't know. We were debating what your title actually is, so... I'm the... Um, I'm, I'm the... I'm the coroner. Oswald. See? Corner. See? Corner. That's what I What's had written here. What's a coroner? A, a dead people... Uh, artisan. Oh, let's not be indelicate about it. I... I... An important man has died, and his estate must be taxed. I'm here to make sure there wasn't any wrongdoing, or to find out who did the wrongdoing. Can I check the body <laughs> while this is happening, and be like, what? Yeah, there's like a, died. there's just like, a, so right now there's a circle of people surrounding a dead guy. Yeah, yeah. And he comes out and is wondering to know why we're here. I'm like, cool. I, I assume he means this is the person who is dead. Yeah, this so is, I walk This is the important person who's yeah, dead. Yeah, that's what I walk up to. I'm just like, so um, is this is this the man you're speaking of? The the, the corpse what? on the ground? No, that's that's no, that's George Gilly, the blacksmith. Oh, right. So should we be concerned that he's also dead? No. We're here for Sir Tim's. Right. Well, uh, um, I just, I just give a look over to Adidash and I'm just like, Dad, if you're investigating the body, Rock, please roll like, an investigation check. There's, there's like, okay. there's bodies, and we're supposed. To... I'm... Uh, oh. Yeah, can, can... <laughs> so he's investigating, but just at a cursory glance, can we see any cause of death, uh, trauma? He, yeah, it's pretty obvious that he's lying face down in in the snow, and he's got a long gash down the. Oh, down great. down his back from right. shoulder to so, hip, uh, crossing his spine. I, I just put my elbow like on the shoulder of the coroner. Uh, I'm just like he, he shrugs you. Can I adjust his? Can, can I speak to you just like a little bit? You know, just step aside here for a moment, uh, dear coroner, uh, good sir. Um, I, your job is mainly to deal with dead people, right? Correct, and I suppose, as you said, deal with their estates. Uh, so, so this may not seem of importance to you. Um, we are here to investigate the death of of Sir Tims. Sir, Sir Tims. Um, and in my notes, my very detailed notes that I received uh, upon receiving this particular um, <laughs> um, call to action, uh, it says right here, "Death by giant gash." Um, well, at a pretty cursory glance uh, over here. Uh, I see that this blacksmith has also died from a very large gash. Um, so if you don't mind, maybe do some cornerly duties to... Uh... I wasn't sent here for George Gilly. I was sent here for Sir Tim's, and it's past time his house and his affairs be looked into. If you want to waste time with, with this nonsense, by all means, waste your time. Well I won't have I'm you not sure it's mine. a waste of time. They seem to be clearly related, which I uh, think is what my friend here was getting at. Yeah, I'm trying to say that there's a very good chance that, uh, first of all, most people don't accidentally get giant gashes across their body that kill them. Usually it's murder. And secondarily, uh, this man over here has the same wound, therefore probably two murders, and very likely by the same person. 
Uh, I'm not a very smart fellow, but uh, it's possible that you have yourself um, not quite a serial killer uh, just yet, <laughs> but but very definitely a double murderer, a two a two killer. There's so many strange words being valued about here, but anyway. I feel like serial killers are pretty common term. Fine then, have at it. Do your thing. You're the experts, right? Uh, no, but thank you for your amazing help. I, I approach my, 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 my fellows and I say, yeah, so that guy's completely fucking useless, isn't he? Dad, did you find anything? The man is definitely dead. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. He should we figured with Thank all the you. I... I'm glad we buried, got confirmation. Probably. We should find out if he has family. The half orc woman standing sort of by the foot of the inn stairs. Uh kind of looks up at that. Oh, Aaron. Oh my god, someone's gonna have to a girl. There is a Oh, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a dead woman? No, the, the... I think this is a daughter or a wife, mother, sister, uh, nanny. Wait, the, who? The woman kind of like rubs her face. Erin was George's daughter. She's she's alone. Hmm. Where might we find her? George lived. Uh, or four miles from town out that way and she points um straight across from the inn um <clears throat> i have a question and i look at the the half orc woman who was the first person to find george here i own the inn i'm sagrazara and when i can and there was no one else out here that you saw? No. No, uh, it was... It was a bit after a uh, fun ride. Just a few other... In for the day. Oh, what I saw. And you showed up. Did you happen to touch the body or come close? Hmm. May I see how cold he is? See if I can determine how long he's been outside? Oof. He's pretty cold outside. <laughs> that was uh, like asking the DM, not asking. Yeah, yeah roll. Uh, roll in. No, that's what I'm saying, yeah. It's like. Well, if you want to, you can roll an investigation check if you want. Like more details, but you can. He's probably a medicine babe. Actually, she's trying to determine how long he's been dead, just to help you out with some. Anyway, right. I'm, I'm not remotely interested in finding out how long he's been. Dead. Oh, <laughs> we are not good uh, forensic examiners. No, yeah, we're not. <laughs> I was like, when you said you guys are the experts, I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. So you, you uh, maybe touch his arm or something, and his, his arm is fairly cold. It, it's kind of, he's fallen with his arms kind of spread out, and they've come out from under his cloak, which is fairly heavy. Um, there's like a light, well, wool fabric covering his, like a wall. So chilly, but... Might so not be the body. Or... Diagnosis there, Dash. He he's definitely dead. <laughs> right. I think we're yes. gonna have to talk to the family and see what we can learn about uh, who I got he was it. when he, he was, was alive. Dead via the lack of color in his body, the, um, the blood on the stove blood, was um, and mm. the absence of blood inside the body, I mean. So um, are we Jack going Dash. to visit his daughter first? Is that our first stop? <sighs> I think we need to. We can't just leave him out here. Okay, I'm gonna reach down and. Well, I mean, we up. can we can leave him out here. Well, I'm already throwing the body over the my horse. Oh, back. does it snap in half over her back? <laughs> There's a a <laughs> pretty uncomfortable as I 
His his back has been sliced pretty much clean through. So you can see his spine and all kinds of Okay. But and, uh, and he's he's, he's pretty stiff, unfazed. so he doesn't so, so so when she picks him up, she picks up like the top half or the Well no, he hasn't been cut in half. Okay. But he's he's fairly stiff. He doesn't really sag over your shoulder or anything. It's kind of like it's, he kind of just planks across her back. Yeah, this is and, very awkward. And the right, the, well, the half just... orc woman just oh we have a we have a cemetery here in town. That's usually very Yeah, I'd be happy to take him there. The I'm just going to allow the daughter this... to decide what would become of his uh, final. I, I know Aaron fairly well. I think. Six hour round trip. But someone should should have Yeah, well I think I think uh helping take the uh body down off of your back. Uh I, th I think possibly that uh so, so it comes we would forward be happy and... to go to, to go uh, alert the daughter and we need to actually make some inquiries as well. We're with the coalition, I don't know if you've heard of them. Um Yeah, we, we know what you're and, for. Uh, uh fantastic. Uh Sorry to, for any disturbances uh, and our condolences uh, for your loss. Um, uh, we'll probably have questions for each of you in due time, but we, we're going to go speak to the daughter uh, for now. Please give her my anything she needs in as well. Uh, of course. Um, and which direction is that in? If you just she, she points down the path directly across. Great, thank you very much. And then I just, just, I grab both of you and just start walking, like, <laughs> just like, like, like. I don't know if I can actually move you, but I try. Oswald. Yeah, uh... I think the first attempt, I actually do a classic horse thing, and my hooves are firmly planted. <laughs> but after a moment, I will walk like, with you. Yeah, I start walking. <laughs> I put my arm around your shoulder. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I sag under the weight of your arm. Uh, and I'm just like, <laughs> so I'm like. Probably in the future, we um, refrain from picking up corpses, just in general, um, while we're here. Until, like, uh, I'm not sure where you're from, but typically you don't pick up corpses and start moving them around because they're, they're the people who lives there as corpse. It's like you don't touch things that don't belong to you. Probably, probably a good fair bet. Is that less civil than leaving a body in the street? Well, no, but I'm pretty sure they were going to take care of it. Probably. As as you're walking off, they they are Sog, Sog has mobilized a few other people to kind of wrap George up to close his wound and uh, Dash, you have you had good intentions, you have good heart. Yes, great oh, intentions. Nice. Great intentions. Um but again, probably as a rule rule of thumb, let's let's refrain from picking up corpses until... Um Oswald comes clamoring down the stairs after you. Uh, and races past the body and moving delicately, lifting his silk robes uh, up over the oh Oswald's blood following on the snow. Us? He's like, wait, wait, you're going? It's a, it's it's like six hours to the Gilly House and back. What, wait, it's what about six Sir, hours. What about Sir Tim's house? I'm sorry. How how far away is Sir Tim's house? Because I wasn't aware that this was a six hour trip off to the last place we were going. They just pointed that way. <laughs> I thought it was like a small jaunt. <laughs> Um, so I had told you that it was about a three hour walk. Uh, she did? Yes. In, into oh, the woods that way. Um, also, it's like, well, he, he lives on an estate in the opposite direction. And how many hours away is that? <laughs> um, yeah, about, about the same. So about everybody lives about three hours away from this town is what you're trying to tell me. Well, anybody with any considerable amount of land, I mean, very much the right. town center, so, but it's so there's an inn. It's... But the nearest person that lives, you know what? It's fine. Well, if anybody else had died, they, the house would have been there, but it, they wouldn't have been worth investigating, now would they? Uh, are there any houses between here and the, the <laughs> estates we're going to, or is it literally well, of just? Oh, fantastic! Right, so it's it's a little. Sorry, I just I, thought this is the countryside. Now. Where are you from? Three miles from the nearest town. Um, I'm from a place where monsters rove around, and we like to bunch up so that when the monsters come to kill us, um, it's easier for them. 
we group together and don't get picked off. You know what? You're Oh yes. You're... I understand. That makes <laughs> most sense. <laughs> you're a coroner. Um you are an expert in dead people. I will not uh attempt to um <laughs> To, to pretend I know more about dead people than you do. In fact- Please stop uh, calling them dead people. Look, this is, this is the time of mourning for many, very delicate situation. I'm just here to tax the estate, all right? And, and- And what I do you need us for to tax the estate? I did not hear what you Go said. Ahead. You're good, you're good. You seem I'm very broken up about good. it. What, me? I didn't it's, know him. This time of mourning- Right? Two weeks since his death? Yes. So what's 12 more hours while we go tell this unfortunate man's daughter about her father's death? Right, but afterwards we go to Sir Tim's? Um, yes, I, I think we can go to Sir Tim's to investigate his much older deadness. Um, the newer deadness takes precedence, I think, though. He just kind of glares and stomps off. Down, I lower. Down the well, path. okay. While he's doing that, I sort of lower myself down. We were sent here to investigate the murder of Sir Tim's. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming the information at Sir Tim's house is relevant. <laughs> oh, I assume. I very much assume that it is. Um, but you guys seem to want to go that way, which is. I think a mission of moral is much more important than a mission from the coalition. I, I, I literally give zero shits whatsoever. Um, I, I'm, I'm willing to go with whatever you guys choose, but apparently it's a split vote. Um, so, split vote. Oswald um, is already walking down the path towards George's. Oswald's chosen it for us. We're going down. He's made his bargain with you. We know where he's going now, so I think that if I may throw my vote in, Yes, we should make this trip to see his daughter. Wait, he, Oswald's coming with us? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Oswald's I thought he was walking towards the. No, he's coming with us. He wants to come. <laughs> oh, he wow. just didn't want to go over there yet. Awesome. Cool. So, uh, uh, as we're walking, I'm just going to be asking Oswald. Like, <laughs> so, tell me about being a coroner. Do you enjoy it? Is it fun being a coroner, managing estates? A whole lot of bureaucracy is what it is. Mm hmm. But he's, he's, he, you can see he's very fastidious about his clothing, which is very fine, very expensive. You can tell he makes quite a lot of money doing that. Yeah, I'm wearing a bunch of rags and shit. Yeah. He, so, he notices that too, and he kind of is. You can look at me all he wants. I'm just like, I know, right? <laughs> before, before we leave the outskirts of town, uh, Dad's going to ask the rest of the group, including Oswald, are you all warm enough? Do you need some jackets? I could go run back and get some jackets for you all, just in case. You look kind of cold. Oh no, that's perfectly fine. I think I'm. I think I'll be all right. It's really not that cold. It's much colder where I come from. Quite comfortable. Oswald growls from the. I'm fine. As long as you're sure, I worry about you all. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Dad. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk in silence the rest of the three hours. <laughs> so, what was Sir Tim's um, role in town? Well, he was sort of the peacekeeper, uh, the only local knight, sheriff, if you will. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. So, was he, you know, uh, licensed to enforce? Well, yes, he was a knight. Okay. Yeah. Excuse it's... me. I don't. We don't have knights where I'm from, so I was just trying to clarify. Um, in that case, I, I assume there's nobody else left alive then to have started the investigation before we arrived. No, no. I I've only been here a day myself. Uh. Oh, so, so when you when we first arrived and you said, finally, you're here, you've been waiting 24 hours or less. Look, 24 hours in Greymoor is a lifetime, I tell you. Oh, so you really don't know this place well at all. Well, I think um, it seems all right. Look, I was familiar with Sir Tim's. I never met the man, but... Well, then, to ask you a few questions, move a little bit forward. Can you tell us anything about the circumstances surrounding Sir Tim's death that you are aware of? Well, he... 
Oh, I can tell you how the, the body was found in the yard of his estate. He, yard of his estate. He loved uh, groundskeeping, gardening and the like. I don't know how much he did at, he was able to get done out here. I haven't seen the place yet myself. Uh, oh, I love gardening. He was, well, he was out in the yard. Uh, a rather large gash. Uh, a midriff, I believe. Yes, across his midriff. It's a large estate, but he lived, he lived alone. No housekeeper or servants of any sort of a strange man. Right, so, so to get this as plainly understood as possible, uh, he lives alone, um, was killed at home, uh, and that's pretty much all we know, is that he was cut up, he likes gardening, because that's important somehow. Well, he was and... talking town, and it's like, oh no, he was attacked while he was pruning his hedge. Poor man. Correct. Do you do that in winter? I look at no. those of you, I, I assume, to know the answer. Winter plants, who knows? I'm not familiar with many plants. You like trees. You prune trees. Yes, but I don't prune them back. I let them grow. Mm. I, I've never been around trees, really. Well, anyway, they think the body was there for maybe a week or so before they found it. It wasn't. Hmm. They, well they missed preserved, him in town, but... Cold, I presume. Yeah. What? Well preserved. The body. But, well, the... Yes, yes. Carried on. Yeah. Would he also oh. be considered sort of the leader of this town? Its elder or uh, well magistrate? I I wouldn't go quite that far. Certainly an authority, uh, but uh, seems the innkeep is someone ever so, here since the Tim's died. So. so you believe that Sai would have. Oh, what's that phrase I've heard? Her her finger on the pulse of this town. Well, what in keep doesn't? Okay. But there's no official uh, leader that would maybe a second in command. Who's in charge now that Sir Tim's is gone? The one, as far as I can tell, again, uh, authority figures. You have the. Uh, so you really don't know much about the ongoing of this town. Look, I'm just here for Sir Tim's. He lives outside town. Fantastic. Great. I think we just... We investigate Sir Tim's place when we arrive there. Until then, um, off to see this daughter, yes? I suppose the, the chapel. Priest. Right. That was like an hour and a half ago before we started walking. Well, we on our way back through... Um, if, if Tim's estate is on the other side of town... On our way back through, we might stop and talk to Sai. Oh, no, definitely. It seems like a good idea to talk to literally everybody <laughs> um, that can be talked to when we get back to town. On Why did way. you mention the chapel? Well, you're asking about authority figures. I see. Yeah, it would make Priest would be authority. Be... And what god is worship at this chapel? Oh, it's a moon goddess. Uh, there's... You know, the full moon's coming up. There's a big festival and all kinds of nonsense going on. I don't know. The town was very excited about it before George happened. George Talk about anything else. Happened. Good. Well, um, I'm going to walk silently for the next hour <laughs> and a half until we get there. I don't want to talk to this guy anymore. <laughs> I offer snacks to the group. Oh, I, I accept your snacks. <laughs> what kind of snacks? That's beef jerky. I take yeah, it and I put it into you. my bag. I don't eat it. <laughs> Oswald turns up his nose. I take Oswald's. I might start <laughs> chewing on a frozen piece of grass that I picked up. Uh, my inventory does not uh, contain any form of food. so uh, Not even rations? No. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't know which 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 one this is, like what version this is, but I think this is one where I literally only have three items. I have uh, <laughs> I have clothing. <laughs> Oops. 
As long yeah. as you have weapon and armor, you, you know, maybe you'll be fine. I've got, I've got a weapon and armor, and I've got nothing else. So you can yeah, you can eat it. snow for for water. Yeah, I don't have flint and steel. Make fire. Don't have any idea how I survived getting here. Um, <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> well, you used up all your supplies. This is I used yeah. up all my supplies yeah. getting here. It sucked. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm keeping an eye out as we walk, by the way, since I'm not listening to this asshole anymore. Just get a little a, a little a, and see if there's anybody like lurking in the shadows trying to. Yeah, no, the, us, the path, uh, you know, the path becomes more rugged uh, the further you go and actually eventually becomes obscured by snow. Um, mm. Along the way, you, you know, there's heavy trees on either side, uh, but you do see a few dwellings here or there. Oak, right? In the distance but i don't, I don't, I don't see any assholes lurking in the dark uh following us roll a perception check i, I would love to i'm just gonna go boop, 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 boop. 15. uh don't see a whole lot there's maybe some squirrels branches uh, I see some motions in the branches. I just see like a flash of red shoot out of the tip of his finger. You eldritch, bla eldritch blast the squirrel. Yeah. There's a ruckus in the canopy. I rear branches back onto my legs in in surprise, like not good surprise. Like no, like Fearful there was no surprise. there was no build up. Like you just like and there wasn't a whole lot of noise. There's no like it's just. You just heard a small zip behind you, and then some rustling in the bushes. Okay, I like, didn't it's know not like I just roll Eldritch blast, blast like that. Like, no, I just okay. Went... All right, then I probably didn't notice. I mean, you could make a perception check. I could make a... <laughs> make make a sleight of hand check or something. Stealth. Or well, something. there's there's a bit of you know it it impacts something, and there's a bit of. I mean, you definitely yeah, notice something. This... I mean, it's up to. What would I roll to make it so I tried to make this as understated as possible? Yeah, slide of hand or stealth, I guess. Stealth? 24. Oh, you had no fucking clue as me. You are one <laughs> stealthy mother. I rolled a 19, so. Assaulting trees, like, a real pro. What are the... Out of game question, why are my rolls divided into a left side and a right side? So That's roll 20 roll. automatically rolls advantage disadvantage so ah, it rolls two okay. for you and then you take I the first two one. 19s so yeah you did you that was <laughs> pretty pretty successfully was just like i didn't see anything yeah no. i don't even know if it died i just shot at it. <laughs> no, nobody saw anything uh yeah um so you continue walking uh it's it's pretty remote out here it's basically wilderness you see fewer and fewer Dwellings as you go, but um, as you, uh, it's it's fairly obvious. Is the Gilly House? It, uh, does it have gills? <laughs> as you you've been following this path, there's a sign, sort of hammered into trees side that has chiseled I, I on it. This, in common. I see this, and I'm like. Hey, Dash, they don't seem to respect trees very much around here. You see that? First they carve faces, and, and they're putting holes in this one. Rude. The sign says, George Gilly, blacksmith. You make a good point. Is it a larger house? Does it look it, somewhat... It's a comfortable, you know, it's a... Uh, I would say about on par with anything you saw in, in Greymoor. Uh, not terribly well put together, but okay. rustic. Um... Certainly looks uh, more than large enough for a man and his daughter. And yeah. there is a forge beside it. Yeah, definitely blacksmith's place. Uh, do I see anybody working the forge? No. And right, so as, just... as you approach, you can tell that the doors and windows are hanging open. Um, open. There are thick Ooh. curtains in the windows that are shivering in light wind. Um, okay, so uh, you guys watch as like like he gets like like fell immediately gets low because like the doors and the windows are open and it's fucking winter so that's stupid and so he you guys watch as he gets low and he pulls what looks like a 
boat oar handle with just like a big old sheet of metal on, attached to the end of it. It is the best way I can describe the weapon that he pulls out from under his cloak and starts like get low and starts stealthing his way in. It looks like okay, he tied a boat back. oar in a piece of metal that as a blade just together. Uh, uh, if you're stealthing into the house. I, I will do that. Oswald, sort of. Back 21. The trees. Uh, Two 21s again. Why am I rolling the same number twice? Yeah, that. Well, I'll see if that continues. There might be a bug. Um, I mean, it wasn't for any of the other things I've rolled. Or anybody else's rolled. Eh. Um, so I start sorry, stealthing, stealthing over. All right, what are the rest of you doing? Are you going into the front door? Uh, so? No, I, I was, I mean, again, I don't have a layout of this place. I don't know what it looks like or anything. Also, like, you, you there's a front door, but, and then there's uh, a forge to the side. I'm, I'm attempting to stealth in and peer in through the window to see the state of the inside. With, like, okay. holding my hand out, you know, to be like, wait, guys, and then having the blade ready just in case. All right, well, looking looking in through the window, you can see that the house has upside down. It's completely... Things are tossed everywhere. Chairs are lying on their side. The table is turned over. Um, it's a it's a modest dwelling on the inside. There's plenty of space, but not a lot of furnishings or anything. Um, there's a couple of beds in one corner. Those have been the sheets have been pulled off. The bedding has been turned over. Pillows are and on the floor. So it's been, it's been pretty much ransacked. Uh, any sign of any movement or any living thing? Do I hear? Like somebody trying to keep their breath quiet, like a little girl maybe hiding in a closet. Well, like... perception. Oh, okay. I'm going to 19. start entering through the front door using my glaive to kind of push the door open and peer inside. So uh, as you step inside, you're you find yourself in. So stealth just in a kitchen. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they still... don't have to necessarily see you. You're on the side looking in windows. Yeah. Um, yeah but my, but my with your idea. perception, you you don't really hear anything except your companions and the wind. Well, yeah, I hear clip clop clip clop clop. <laughs> yep. Um, mm -hmm. At a dash, as you step inside, you find yourself in a small kitchen. Um, there's cooking utensils hanging. On. Well, some of them. And you see that a couple of the floorboards have been fried up. Um, maybe underneath the table, the table is now side near. <laughs> you don't see any sign of any. Was there something underneath the floorboards? Can you say to no one? You can roll investigation. Oh, yeah, no, no okay, that's what I'll do. Yeah, I guess what I was wondering is, you know, if I go over there, but I will roll an investigation. Just, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I just, I was like stealthily by the door and then yep, walks right by me and I'm just like, <laughs> I just turn around and I'm just like, all right, cool. I guess this is a, that's a seven. Yeah. Takes the first. Wow. Yeah. Not doing so well today. You uh, pull the, the floorboards up the rest of the way and there's a bit of a crawl space under there. Back to earth. Hmm. Uh, I just look in and see the broken floor, and I'm just like, on the back wall between the two beds, the there is another. Places didn't look shitty enough before. There's now another door. It was that already broken. Open. Let's go in there. <laughs> Holding the planks of wood. The the back door leads outside. You can see snow drifting in. Can I Any go to the tracks? forge? Yes, hmm? you can go to the forge. I will go to the forge and. Poke around and see if there's warm coals or yeah. Roll, roll investigation. Were there any tracks that I could see out the front or the back door? It's gonna be another bad one. Um. So at the forge, you can see that it is very clearly lifeless and cold. And digging around a bit, you can tell that it was abandoned some time before George. There's no way anybody has lit a fire in here. No sign of any fall even. Yeah, so there is deep snow. So I see that she's like checking, checking out, looking around. I'm like, what it's do you... It's all fresh snow. 
Yeah, there's, Adidas, there's, you don't no see sign. anything. You can I can I take a look? Uh, no longer trusting her investigative skills. <laughs> so yes, you can. Yeah, I, I'm not getting 21. down or anything. I'm just kind of observing what I can see from six feet up. <laughs> you rolled a 21? Yeah. Jesus Christ. another 19. So this is, you're looking outside, right? Um, mm. You see a set of small boot prints. You know, kind of s somewhat covered by a fresh powder. But you can tell from the indentation, it's it's a fairly small foot. Uh, um, yeah, so 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 I see... I. I... <laughs> I see Adidas uh, looking like keenly for some stuff, and I just go put like a little Eldritch blast in that direction, like obviously enough that she's sort of like, huh, what? So that she her eye line just just drawn to the tracks. Can I do that? So she can feel like she discovered it. Well, I, that's up to her whether it works or not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found something. <laughs> uh, you can see that these these prints move away from the back of the house. She just seemed like she was investigating so hard. She needed a win. <laughs> so Fel's just like, oh, what's that? Oh. Some can't... kind of a, a footprint, I believe. It's pretty small. Um, what, what, what was the race of the guy that died, George? Was he uh... a... He's a blacksmith. I don't want to be like racist and assume he was a dwarf. Uh, uh, he he was a dwarf, in fact. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So small feet footprint might mean that it was the kid of a dwarf that went away. By this time, Oswald. I guess I'm has... saying that out loud. It's like that would be my thought process based on dwarf size, height. Can I make an intelligence check to see if this looks like it might be like the, or would that be like survival or something else? What would that? No, be? I think I think you can fairly safely. Assume out any checks that this was that that quite that, possibly the daughter the daughter's tracks or or that the murderer is just real small like well he wasn't killed at the house oh but, that's true but it is but it the is place was ransacked the so. place was ransacked yes um so i get down low and i'm like there's a very good chance that this is where the little girl went um i say we follow um stealthily just in case something else um, is after her uh, and then dad's gonna be out from the hey gang i'll I take the back then over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh great he found the forge fantastic well done dad uh oswald well done, well, has this isn't exactly my strong suit stealth um, as well, you've already it... noted i sort of make noise when i walk yes which um is fine uh maybe just stay a few feet back from me just so i can keep an eye ahead um i can do that we just try to walk as quietly as possible. Um, you make it about five out. feet before the boot prints disappear. Five feet before the boot prints disappear. Yeah, like wait. So, so we had fresh footprints and then gone. There's the you can tell anybody who wants to roll a nature check or has has proficiency in nature. I can do that one. But... I have that. I don't, I don't think they're, the DCZ but you, you would know given the weather here. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> Is it also bad? No, it's a, <laughs> that kid vanished. Can I start rolling real dice? <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, oof. Uh, we'll say that, uh, that dad, having been around uh, cold weather before, knows that the house was maybe sheltering some of the wind and preserving the boot prints near the house. Mm. And then further right. out from the house, they have been blown away by this. Okay, well, it's a little kid. She can't have gone too far. Um, well, do we know how old she is? You did not ask. Yes. Uh -oh. But the small, the small feet, the little bitty feet. Even but... for a dwarf, the little feet. Is it small Everything... even for a dwarf? <laughs> eh, it's hard to tell because they've been somewhat covered up. Hmm. But no, they're not itty bitty unless unless you're huge and you're standing. They're not so. baby feet. They're not baby feet. She's not a toddler. Okay, so we don't need to be worried about some kid lost in the in the snow, right? I mean, she might be like well, not a toddler. That... What uh, a yearling. What do you call this? Uh, you know, not quite an adult, but Oswald's no poking around inside the house. You can hear him rummaging through drawers and. There's a very good chance he's robbing the place. Maybe we should get back and make sure that. 
Oswald's not just being a total dick about this place, settling estates and shit. There's still a living daughter. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go back to the fucking house real quick. Cause <laughs> obviously we didn't track very far and I'm like, Oswald, you're that bastard. What are you fucking doing in here? Well, there's this, there's this thing here and he, he holds up a, he pulls a box up off the, like, the, uh, it's, it's this kind of worn, um, sort of dull metal, uh, he, he rattles it. There's something inside, but it's... I was, I was looking for a key. Um, I could probably just open that sucker up for you. Where um, did you find it? Right, right here. Why yeah. are you robbing places? Like, this place was already ransacked. Oh, look, since we came all this way, we might as well look around fine, and see fine, if we can fine. learn anything. Give me a second. Let me see if I can open it up for you. Uh, which... Yeah. That's a 15 to see if I can open it up. I just see if I can pick the lock. You exactly. So, the, the, uh, you tinker a bit and click. The box pops open, and inside is a heap of parchment folded. What looks like a small arrow. Uh, okay, uh, can, I, can I read it? Is it in common? Uh, it is in common, and I believe I have it in. Oh God, that's spoil any. Uh, here we go. Can you see that on roll twenty? Mm -hmm. George's letter. I see George's letter. Yeah. Oh, you can you can do that if you like. So, <clears throat> dear Aaron, now that you've grown enough to strike out on that adventure you've always wanted. Oh, apparently not a child, not weird anymore. Uh, I want you to have this. I found it in the woods one day. There's an old tradition of plating lost arrowheads in silver to use as amulets. They say an elf arrow can ward off witchcraft. Huh. I've never heard of such a thing, but all right. Um, so I thought I'd send it with you on your travels to keep you safe wherever you go. I'm no jeweler, but these crusty hands of mine can do more than rough work. I hope it always reminds you of your old man in the home that will always be open to you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, Aaron. I don't know if I've ever actually said it before, though I do hope I've shown it, but I love you. Well, apparently this was some sort of gift prepared for George's daughter, Erin. Um, Silver-coated arrowhead. Um, I've never used an arrow before in my life, so uh, useless for me. Um, I don't know if this is some sort of estate settlement, but we should definitely make sure that we keep this for Aaron as it was intended, correct? I agree. Seems wrong to any pockets it. Does this mean that she did not already leave? Wouldn't she have taken this with her? Uh, I feel as though she didn't ransack her own home and then run off into the snow. It seems this was a coming of age gift. Uh, but um, what I mean is, it wasn't that she left and then the home was ransacked and then her father died, but she was not here, so she's... Right, based on the fact that the tracks are still there, um, and she didn't just probably leave five minutes before it was ransacked. Right. Oswald, how long ago did George die? Just this morning, he just died. That's what uh, well, yes, I that's, said, yes. That's, that's how murder tends to happen. Do you have any idea of why he was in town? Oh, well, he, was a, he was a blacksmith, so he was there to sell his wares. Uh, I didn't see, like, a cart of blacksmith shit. Well, no, it, it wasn't, it didn't. There's a, there's a market. He was staying right. at the inn. His stuff will be in the inn if he still had any left. So then it's very plausible then that if he was staying at the inn and he was doing the sailing, that he probably wasn't even here at all today. Um, no, something doesn't really He, he was in up. town for a few days. Something doesn't really add up here. This looks recent. Um, I doubt the daughter ransacked the place on her own. Unless she did. Did the well, daughter I think, ran I think this ransack box... the place? She, uh, I'm looking would... at all the rest of you guys. I'm like, I'm not a good investigator. <laughs> so far, you've been better than I have. <laughs> Just I, role wise. I think we can. <laughs> I think we can safely say that this family yes. has been besought with some tragedy, not of 
I mean, based, based their on their own him design, being dead. You know, honestly, all I have to say is the coalition just picked the worst fucking group to to be sent on this particular. Like, if it was killing things, I mean, look at this guy. I think he could probably kill things real good. Look at him. Look at Dad. Look at look at Dad. His big arms. Look at it. I start poking his hey, arms. fighting is a last resort. Oh shit, we're not gonna get along at all. <laughs> <clears throat> But if you want, I'll take a look around the place. All I'll right. take a look around the place since I haven't yeah. done it. <laughs> yeah, take a take a look around the place. I haven't actually looked for anything. All I did was try to see if there was anybody inside, and then I'm gonna look for like mementos or things that like, yeah, that this family would keep to like give them an identity. Roll investigation. I'm looking for That's um, 20. a natty twin. Uh, yeah, never nat. mind. I'm done. Yeah, he sees everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, good job. Uh, as I said, this is a fairly modest house. There's there's space, but not a lot to fill it. But there is um, a, a parchment on the wall that has um, sort of an ink drawing, and it's not bad. Um, it's over one of the beds, uh, presumably the girls. Um, What's the ink drawing of? Uh, some trees, and and uh, there's a, a sketch of a, a dwarven man, a little dwarven girl holding. Whom mm. it's George and Aaron. There's, uh, there's... I'm gonna take it, and carefully fold it up and put it in my bag, and say to the others because I think this looks suspicious. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I see them do that, and I'm like. <laughs> And I'm just like, nice. In case we find her, this might help her know that we are on her side. We Yes, we are definitely the people that have been to her house and also stolen something from her home. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just pick up some stuff. I'll cr write up some chairs and stuff. Yeah, so he Aww. starts dad tidying. Um and while, while while he's doing that, um, can I can I bef maybe like maybe try to stop him before he dad tidies too much? Can I try to just get a sense of if this place was ransacked in like uh, a methodical way or in like in a rush? Or uh, I don't know what role that would be, but probably just investigation. Yeah. Or insight. Yeah. Uh, insight's looking into people. It's probably investigation. Yeah, that's true. Sixteen. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the manner with which it was tossed. It it looks like there was not a stone left unturned. Um, you're a bit surprised the box wasn't open or taken with them. Um, yeah. Maybe they weren't they weren't so able to open it. This shit this shit doesn't add up at all. Because you take the box with you and you break it later. Like you break it open or you get somebody else to pick it. You don't leave the valuable thing. In the locked box. You this you room. might have the sense that whoever was ransacking the place perhaps well come and oh didn't, shit didn't have time to grab the box <laughs> before they ran so, out the back door. So you're door. saying these motherfuckers were just here? But no, I I just I just is that the 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 the, the conclusion that my character comes to? Because in it's that case, those traps a in possibility. that little girl tells me that that girl motherfucking ransacked her own damn house. If those are the only tracks I found, it's a possibility. Somebody was certainly searching for something, and actually, with your natural twenty earlier, you see a glint of metal, uh, dull metal, um, on one of the rafters overhead. And uh, how tall I can are you? Probably reach that. Like right? seven, seven feet. Yeah, I'm not even going to make you do a. Do yeah, a he just reaches. Um, you can pull down. That's, that's like eye level for him, isn't it? <laughs> it's a it's a burnished key. That that would have oh. opened the, the, the box. <laughs> that would have opened the box. Uh, so it, it is probably what they well. were looking for. Possibly. Does anyone want a key? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm not the best investigator, but let me tell you what I think actually happened here. I think that little girl was in town today. I think she saw her dad get murdered. I think she ran the fuck back down here. Or she murdered her dad. Point is, I think she knows her dad's dead, and she was trying to open this box for whatever reason. I don't know what purpose that might have, 
I don't know if she knew it was inside. I don't think she knew it was inside. And I think that she heard us coming and she ran out the back fucking door. You think this little girl killed father? I mean, obviously she's adventuring age. It says right here, now that you've come of age to go on adventures you've always wanted to. Well, but we don't know how long ahead of time we have prepared that. Well, I mean, I feel like it's not the kind of thing that you just leave. You know, it's fine. Point, point would, is, would she have had motive to kill Sir Tim's also? That's what I'm saying. He was a knight. I'm not saying that she murdered him. I'm saying that she's aware of his death and came here looking for something. She could have mm. murdered him. It's possible. Everybody murders. Okay. Like, patricide, magicide happens all the fucking time, guys. It's so common. You wouldn't mm. even believe. Not if he was a good father. Not if he was taking care of his child. I think. Uh, I'm, 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 just, I'm not suggesting that that's actually what happened. I'm just saying it's possible. I mean, we're not exactly... He obviously loved Again, her. Again, not a good investigator. No. Perhaps I'm just looking we at the should. That I've got, and that's that. Uh, those are definitely the girls' footprints. Definitely dwarf footprints. Um, this place the was coalition ransacked. doesn't care too much about what happened out here. I honestly don't think that they do. Yes. Well, we're finally in agreement. Uh, I, I didn't hear that. Don't care much about what? <laughs> Sir S Tim. Sir Tim's or what happens out here um. in Greymoor? <laughs> uh, no, to be honest with you, we're definitely heading back to Sir Tim's. Uh, I, I'm concerned about the fact that somebody just left here, and we're three miles away from town, so it's not like they're going to beat us back. Um, so... I mean, I'd, I'd like to deal with whatever, whoever just left here, find out what they know, but apparently the snow is too thick and we're never going to see them. <laughs> so. I'd be very is there a, a woods or you said it was a. Uh, it's no, pretty like thick woods behind the house. This is basically the end of the trail. Um, I, I do want to go and revisit in forest than I am. Oh, go ahead. I do want to revisit the uh, the investigation checks, especially the natural twenty. You you guys have found everything in this house now, and um, I got distracted with the RP and stuff. But there is a, a desk, uh, just beside the kitchen, sort of between the kitchen is it, and. Is it like a locked desk? Or just, no, it's a it's a small small desk with a, a small chest of drawers in it, and, and there are the scraps of parchment just thrown everywhere. Um, as well as George's bookkeeping. Mm, well, I'm gonna check the check the bookkeeping, see if see if the numbers add up. Uh, I'm not smart. Uh, well, he doesn't have a whole lot of details there. He doesn't he doesn't write down everything, but um, you can tell that the past few months have been kind of slow for the blacksmith. Um, until recently, he was commissioned to make. Uh, sort of this, it, there's a rough sketch in the margins. There's really no name for this, and there's no notes as to who commissioned him. Is but it it's, a big old blade? <laughs> it's a sketch of a sort of complicated and large system of latches and bars. Um, it's kind of a sp scribble, and there's, there's notes, but the handwriting is illegible. It's some kind of shorthand. Uh... Yeah, Fell stares at this sketch for a very long time. <laughs> and then he just turns and looks at the rest of you and he just says, To be honest with you, I have absolutely no fucking clue what's going on. I, I, I'm completely lost. I, I think that we should probably head back to town and talk to some people um, that know the blacksmith, know the daughter. Um, maybe combine that with the information we've gathered here and then maybe go see about this Tim thing so that Oswald doesn't hang himself. Actually, yeah. you know what? Maybe we could wait a bit. I, I can't... <laughs> said that. Look. Can we show... Uh... Never mind, I'm gonna hold on to this thought. I'm gonna hold on to it. Okay. Let's go, I think yeah, let's go right. do that. Uh, Bell. Uh, it's time we... Move on to more fruitful ground. Let's go back to town. It's, we have time, right? It's not yeah, it's just another three hours of walking. I mean, it would be faster if we, we cut through the woods. So Tim's house is north of town. We're east of town. We go back well, through. 
shit, you said it was the opposite direction, so I assume... Well, we the going... path goes in the opposite direction, but it loops back up. Who wants to go through the, 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 the woods? Because, honestly, I'm totally game to go through woods. I'm always game to go through the woods. Cool. I only I'm suggest it because but... you all look like the wilderness types. Oswald, you care so much about your fine clothing, I don't want to put you in a situation where you're going to be... Look, if we figure out this thing with Sir Tim's, I can get more fine clothing, all right? Oh, I just, okay. I just want to get this over with and get out of here. Well, let's let, let's get the fuck on the move then. Uh, we had we had on, on a straight map line um, <laughs> for 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 Tim's estate then. So fuck talking to town people. <laughs> Oswald seems to know more or less where you're going. He's he he. he is get... that gonna is that gonna save us time overall? Like is that is it like three hours to get there or from here as opposed to six hours? Yeah, basically. Okay, awesome. Totally yeah. for that. That saves us time overall. This way we might actually make it back before nightfall. So, you, you drapes through the woods. Um, well, I'm, I'm keeping an eye out. Yep, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Me too. A sort of general perception check. I, I will. Uh, can I just assist her and she can roll with advantage? Sure. Cool. Okay. So that means we take the higher of whatever the two it does. Ooh. Natural 20. Oh, nice. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, beautiful. So uh, you're, you're in your element. Um, cold, it's snowy. It's somewhat difficult terrain parts of the way. And Oswald, you know, seems to be putting on a brave face to keep up with you all. Um, he's certainly abandoned, taking care of his nice boots and that set stuff. Um, you don't see any sign of trouble or anything. It's it's the woods. There's a couple critters here and there. Um, the weather seems to be lightening up a bit. Bell is blasting critters that he sees. He, he can't sneak that by you this time. Yeah, eventually <laughs> I see it. If I see any actual dead critters, if I actually hit any and see any fall out of trees, I'm gonna go pick them up and put them in a bag. I think you'd have to make attack rolls for that. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what is that? That's terrible. Those yeah, are terrible you, rolls. You, you, you hit a tree branch and it falls with a clatter and startles everything. Around. I wish it didn't have everything written here, everything about it. It's really annoying. <laughs> um... So that was so is that that one attack is just going to like represent all the little. If you want to spend fifteen minutes shooting at squirrels, you're more than welcome. No, to. I don't want to spend fifteen <laughs> minutes shooting at squirrels. I just I'll shoot I'll shoot one more time. Seventeen. Do I hit a squirrel? Uh, sure. Yes, you hit you hit a little uh like a little chipmunk. Yeah, I and, murdered a chipmunk. Um, it falls. It's it's been kind of shredded. Full right through it. It's, well, there's, based there's... on the way based on the way my magic works, it probably turned itself inside out a little bit. Ooh, gross. Okay, well that that falls into the snow at the base of a tree. You can't even eat it blood. now. What was the point of that? No, meat's on the outside. Easier to cook. Hey, bud, I have some rations if you're getting a little peckish. Oh, do you? <laughs> I love Dad. <laughs> and I offer up some more of my rations. I probably yeah. only have now. Yeah, I, I put it in my bag. Um... <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So. I guess we're, we're we're heading to Tim's, and then there doesn't seem to be any trouble on the way there. So, what's Tim's place like? Uh, so the estate is called Veterans Quill. There's a sort of iron gate with with the, the uh, written over it in the sort of left scroll. Um, there's there's a lock on the gate. It's it's open. Uh, clearly, you know, been in. in Tim's death, and um, it looks very well kept. It's an old manor, but uh, you mentioned that he enjoyed groundskeeping, so uh, the, the exterior looks pristine um, for two weeks. There's, you know, snow drifts around the door, and there's there are indeed hedges, uh, even what looks like a hedge maze, sort of covering. Oh, shit. Covering some of the land on the left, as you hear. Um, there's trees laden with snow. Um, what looks like maybe a garden off to the side of the house. Um, it's dormant because of winter. Um, 
but there is a sizable gravestone there. Monument. Boom, Sir Tim's lies. Uh oh. Well, where was the body found? He was pruning these hedges, correct? When <sighs> he died? So somewhere in this vicinity, and Oswald kind of walks you over to... You're not very good at your job, are you? Well, I wasn't here when the body was found, now was I? I've only been here. I haven't been to the estate, but from what I understand, and the notes I've yeah. taken... He no, was... we get it. He died two weeks ago. You've been here a day. Awesome. Um, totally understand. It was over Do here you know somewhere. in your notes who found him? He, the, he, he was missed in town, and I believe a party came out to check on him, consisting of, of Sir Gazara from, from the inn, and uh, on uh, the librarian. What was it? Hen Henriette. Henriette Pascal, the librarian. And uh, the, the young, a young woman. Oh my gosh, there's so many people in this three miles away from here that could totally have done this. Well, look, they're, they're, the... they're villagers, all right? They're, 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 they're... All right. No, that's 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 fantastic. I, I would like to um check this place out because I have this odd suspicion that we're going to find some sort of really annoying latch and um, lock system in this house somewhere. I am also, I was thinking I'd like to look for any images of that on paper. Like if I find a similar drawing. Yeah, or well, I'm I'm looking to I want to check the house, check that place out, and I'm right. basically just keeping an eye out for an actual functional existent one. Well, the the door into the house is this great big, um, burnished sort of mahogany, very shiny. Um, it's locked. Uh, cool. It's locked. I uh, first of all, I immediately scratch the door. Um, Oswald kind of sniffs a bit back. I just take the blade and I go. Sorry, it was it was too fucking shiny. I had to. It's just too nice. <clears throat> and then I uh, <clears throat> got a lockpick it. Uh, bup, 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 bup. <laughs> Ooh, no, no. Yeah, you 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 struggle with it, and it's uh, it's more complicated than you've with before. I but shrug and try the key I found at Gilly's place. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit. It's like, it's like, that was for, it's like, your key's this big, the door thing's like this big. All worth a big. shot, right, gang? Oh, it's definitely worth a shot. Um, for all I know, all keys open all locks. Do so. you have a key to this place? Corner, who's supposed to settle the estate? No, I don't. Oh, so we came here with no plan. I, I walk over to the side of the house and I break a window. Okay, roll a strength check. <clears throat> How do you do? Uh, strength. Oh! Okay. 20. Yeah, that window shatters. And uh, Oswald kind of blusters a bit. But I, I just... I... <laughs> Alright hey, then. He's left. gonna love oh, me. Wait, I can't I, fit after, through the window. After, I, after I break the window, I'm like, wait a second. I check. Are there any rocks like on the, on the, the doorstep? Rocks on the doorstep? No. Yeah, or like potted <laughs> plants or anything. Can I <laughs> rocks? There's there there are like some plants that like I said they've gone. Okay, I do I do like wait after I break the window I lift each pot and see if there's a key under there. <laughs> no, you, you don't find anything. I'm like, see, what, was it a waste of time? And I crawl through the window. Ow. Can, can you let Ow. us in from 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 the other side? Yes, of course. I can't climb through windows. I doubt Thank anybody you. else. I doubt anybody else has been through that window but me. <laughs> <laughs> so I crawl through the window. Uh, first of all, I take stock stealthily, even though I just shattered. <laughs> um, before everybody else goes clip clopping and stomping around. The the house, in stark contrast to its exterior, is dusty, disorganized. It it looks like it's in disarray, but not necessarily because it was ransacked. Not like it's been tossed. Um, just just kind of the clutter of life everywhere. Uh, well, you find I... yourself you're you're in a study. Um, off to the, the side of the door. Hmm. What do you do? Uh, well, uh, I I go let everybody else in. Uh, so I go to the door. Do I? I look at the I look at the lock mechanism from this side. <laughs> does it look super complex? And does it look like they're drawing? It's you. You turn a thing, and the thing opens. It does not nope. look anything Standard from the outside. Well, it does not look uh, anything. I'm very like upset the with myself. To be honest <laughs> with you. 
um, because that that should have been an easy one to unlock. I know how to do it upstairs. Yeah, that's back. okay. Everyone has their off days. <laughs> yeah, so you guys see me. He's just sitting there and he's looking at the lock inside and out. He's just like, "Can I go exploring and find the study?" Yes. I want to start sifting through the papers. So there's a there's a drafting table in there with a stack of parchments, um, ink. Oh, well, we already books. know she's looking for that paper, right? Uh, yes. So mm -hmm. uh, you don't really find anything that looks like a drawing or. Anything. But um, on top of the desk, uh, there's half written next to a stack of parchment that has some nearly legible indentation in it. Um, okay, I'll, I'll look at the letter first. Eve, you should be able to see now. Uh, sorry, yeah. Dear Ulrich, my old mentor, I pray this letter reaches you in time. After years of the seclusion I wanted, something is afoot in Grey. I fear it's the shadow of that old curse you once told me about. I can't prove anything yet, but I've begun taking measures, and hopefully I'll have what I need to defend myself soon. Don't fear. I wouldn't be so stupid as to ask for it directly. My old contact in the Sword of the Lady will hide it nearby. That said, I need you to tell me if you remembered, and that's it. It was cut off mid. Is there like a? Ah! Yeah. Does it <laughs> does it look like Candle Jack grabbed him mid letter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just uh, there's nothing really terribly suspicious about this room. It looks like he simply didn't he finish just writing didn't it. Finish writing it. Yeah, he just wrote a T and no. No O or you so, know what I mean? that seems strange to me. Most people typically finish writing a word. They don't stop like with a letter. I'm yeah. already studying the parchment with the impressions on it. Does anybody have any charcoal dust or Oh, I'm know. sure if you look around there might be some Well, I've got an ash. Out squirrel, uh chipmunk. I can <laughs> I suppose blood might work. It's a bit gorish. Um, is... Are there any fireplaces in the house? There, oh. there is directly ahead of the the door in the entryway, grand um, foyer uh, leading into the sort of living room. Again, actually, you said there was an inkwell, so I think I'll just try to use that. More. Um, I want to see if I can trace the impressions and create. Make a or is it... dexterity check. Okay. You know, like you would do with the side of a pencil. All right. Uh, it's it's a bit sloppy. You do sort of an ink wash, and the I might have just ruined our only <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the the ink sort of wells in the indentation. That they're they're pretty stark. Writes very firm. And uh, you are able to roughly decipher the other letter. Dearest Killian, I need the blade. Send it to Greymore, but not to my house. I fear I need to work in secrecy, as anyone among us could harbor the curse. Instead, send it by courier to the woods near my house. There's an oak tree with an owl carved into its trunk. Why is everybody carving things into the trunks of trees? I know, it's very rude. Tell them to bury it at the owl's feet. Have it delivered the morning of the full moon, any earlier, and I fear my intention may be discovered. By Our Lady's grace, Killian, I had hoped I'd never have use of it. Okay, I need to make a, uh, is it okay if I make a, god, would it be a nature check or a history what, check what are you to trying see to... if I know about werewolves? <laughs> uh... Nature, I suppose, or Ar Arcana, even maybe, because they're they're like Arcana. Yeah, Move yeah let's sense. say Arcana. Uh, twelve. You or yeah her. you you you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that would be the kind of shit I'd know about. 
but that's okay. Um, so something is coming on the full moon. Um, where are we at lunar cycle wise? Are we? Well, are they we... said uh, Oliver said the full moon was coming up. We're they're they having a did. festival. Yeah. The the festivals in day after tomorrow. Would you yeah, happen to know? In a festival. Would you happen to know by any chance if there's any uh what 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 this 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 bird owl statue where that might be? Uh, uh woods near the house. Oh, well, I I haven't been here before, but we can certainly go looking. I mean, he's. Uh, given directions to somebody that doesn't seem to know the land either, so certainly we can find it. Well, but that's the the he has it for delivery for the full moon. That's two days from now. Oh, so it's not even going to be delivered until two days from now. But unless unless this was last month, oh. which seems unlikely given. It's it's surely he's written letters since. So, so, so since considering was... his death and all that. And... Oh, it was two weeks ago. Well, but he seemed, I mean, if he knew he was in danger, then... It was yeah. sent, right? It was a sent letter. It was sent. We only have the remained, the Um. Well, do we know who this Celian person is? We're look I'm looking at <laughs> Oliver. Uh, Os Oswald has... He, oh. Oswald, sorry. He, he looks as nonplussed as the rest of you. Well, um... Well, uh, if you guys want to keep looking around the house, I can take a look around outside and see if I can find this statue and see if there's a sword at the base of it or any of that shit. If not, um, then we might want to find out who the Cillian person is because they might be the key to crack a sucker wide open. I'm fine um, with this plan, but I could also be the one looking around outside. I tend to step on things and break them in houses. Uh, it's up to you. I mean that's perfectly fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm more than happy to explore inside. Uh, okay, I will, I will go search the woods, knowing something about what oak trees look like, and uh, Fell, would you like downstairs or is it upstairs, right? And I assume it's a pretty big place. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if there's an upstairs and downstairs, would you like downstairs or upstairs? I'll definitely take the upstairs, because if there's anybody hanging out downstairs, then you're going to be noticed up there. You got a heavy foot. That's fair enough. <laughs> so I'll I don't, I don't want to exactly be that guy, but... Um... Oswald stays in the study and yeah. combs through the rest of Sir Tim's papers and books and such. Desk. Uh... You guys want to roll investigation? Yeah. Search the rest of the yeah. Oh, yeah. Investigation. Da, 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 da. Oh. I rolled a natural <laughs> one. <laughs> you find Could I shit. perhaps roll a nature check? Because right now I'm just. I was going to say, you can make yours nature instead to. <laughs> Thank you. It's still not great. <laughs> All right. So we have. Uh... Ooh, boy. Inside the house, you. You don't find anything noteworthy. Uh, again, it's it, there's a lot of clutter, there's a lot of stuff, um, pictures, trophies, like uh, urns Gold. and things that look uh, possibly potentially somewhat valuable. Yeah, but is there is there gold? <laughs> like currency, coins? Hmm. Uh, you don't find anything. Yeah, I know. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> um, it, it just it looks like a rich man's house and there's there's no sign of any all right well i traipse around upstairs and i find jack shit um except i assume a, a bedroom and stuff there, but... there's a couple of bedrooms um you can tell which one is certain it's the only one that's lived in specific check like in general looking specifically for this lock mechanism if it's anywhere in this house like just all over the house just looking for that uh i guess that? like like not all over the place I mean, right you don't see it Huh? You don't see it anywhere. Oh, so I can't make a roll for that. I was gonna say you can you can make a separate roll for that specific. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Um, outside you do manage to find this oak tree. Uh, it's it's uh, behind the house. There's um there's some woods, uh, a path leading into the woods behind the. House. Uh, there's a sort of a oops. Hearing as owl call. And uh, there's no kind of piled up all around. 
from on at a bit, but you don't see any sign. And here we buried or dug up. All right. With your nine, uh, yes, you you do not see any sign of this lock. Anymore. Yeah. Fuck me. All right. I'm. I try to just meet up with everybody else. I've got some stuff in my bag. Mostly I'm just, assuming it's a nice blanket I grab. I'm assuming I didn't find the tree. You found the tree. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't see any sign of anything having been buried up. Okay. Even if I sort of hoof the ground under it. Right. Yeah. It's okay. I'll go back to the house then. After I cover my track. <laughs> Make a what would that? Probably survival. Survival, yeah. Yeah, you have to cover your track. Damn. Alright, well I meet up with everybody else and just like I didn't find shit. <sighs> as well as Bad as life him. for the man who lives alone. Just make sure nobody can notice the blanket. <laughs> that I definitely stole. Yeah, we probably see the blanket. Is it stealth or is it sleight of hand? Uh, I mean, you're not picking a pocket or anything. All right, I'll, I'll do stealth. That's higher. I rolled a seven. I rolled a two. <laughs> yeah, the the everybody notices your your yeah. backpack is considerably larger than it was before. I didn't steal anything expensive. I just sold something that I could use. <laughs> That's cool. They totally see it. I wasn't going to say anything, but now that you've called yourself out, it's fine. Well, he's not calling himself out. Oh. Out. He's just holding it, you know. That, yeah. was, that was OOC that commentary. Was just me yeah, that, was, that was out of character commentary. Yeah. OCC. Uh, Oswald is still in the study, pouring over <clears throat> until... There's a problem, Oswald. <sighs> well, well, yes, I mean, Hoping to find more substantial information out here. Some kind of fight or argument or some business rifle. The man didn't keep any records at all. It's well, just... it's pretty obvious that whoever he sent this letter to, um, it, the letter was either, either intercepted or um, information was leaked so that somebody did, in fact, discover um, what he was up to and murdered him prior to the full moon and prior to the weapon being placed there. Um, well, the and based on the gash sizes and everybody, this seems like it's some sort of blade he mentioned. Uh, this very blade could be what's being used to shut people up. I have a question. What's the sword in the lady? Or the sword of the lady? Has anybody heard of that? I'm sorry, was that in the notes? I didn't see anything. Yeah, it was in the, the note to Ulrich. Uh, uh, I, I, lo I lost them. They all disappeared. All the letters are gone on my screen, so. Yeah, I don't know if I. I guess I can add them to. You. I no, found they're, they're there. They're there. They're all under handouts. So it's the unfinished oh, okay. letter. Uh, yes, the unfinished letter. Uh, it was mentioned in the context of my old contact and the sword of the lady will hide and it the, nearby. And the sword of the lady will hide it nearby. So, so is this a tavern? A group of people that you've heard of? Uh, anybody? Familiar with this? No, it could be a, it could be a tavern, certainly. Uh, but in rights and everything, secret society or organization like the one you all come from. The innkeeper might know. Yes, it looks like we have a lot of names, but not a lot of people to. Know well, look, those names I think are. I think our best lead right now is if 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 they are coming to bury it on. Uh, coming that's that's two two mornings from now so let's yes we could stake it out we, we, we could, could plan stake on it out that is possible however with the death of sir tim <laughs> this definitely it definitely says sir tames but that's right uh with his death being so very public and everybody's aware of the fact that he's dead why would they for any reason uh, come here to deliver the weapon at this point. At this point, uh, there's there's no reason why they would do that now. Well, if they pass through Greymoor, certainly they'll they'll hear. But uh, word word was slow getting out. 
Oh, so you're suggesting that this this isn't a resident here, this that that the letter was sent to. The, the sword, is there sword, any kind the sword of, an of the lady or... is uh, sorry, what? On the on the letter? Is it just the letter part that starts with a name or is there any kind of an address or No. Just just the name. Yeah, uh, we didn't Ulrich get the outside. And... We didn't get the envelope. We just got the letter. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. I think we I... should head down and ask around. And ask if I think if the library might be a good these... place to start. Well, asking specifically specifically if these people are in town. Like, in yeah. Show. It sure. doesn't seem like a very big place. At least the town itself doesn't seem that large. Well, by the Do time we know we get... how long Sir Tim lived here? It says he secluded himself, you know, intentionally. Oh, so well, if this was the the people in town would maybe have a better idea as to his disposition, but he's he's been here for years, years. Okay. Well, more than a decade, certainly. Hmm. All right. Yes, let's go back to town. All right. Cool. So we uh, head back to yonder town. Uh, it's another several hours walk, and by this time, evening has fallen. Uh, it's kind of a gray skies, low sunlight situation, so it, it gets fairly dark fairly quickly. Um, you come into town, and there's um, no sign of the blood splatter outside the inn or George's body. They seem to... Um, people are... Heading home from wherever occupations or pastimes they may have had during the day, and there's kind of a solemn mood in the streets. There's low muttering. Straight to the inn. <laughs> Straight to the inn. Uh, the inn is actually the first building you you come by. There's uh, in in this as you head towards the town square. From actually, we let go me... to Greymore Bend, and we immediately go see if we can. So talk you're coming to... down this path up above the inn. You pass by the chapel of Saloon, the moon goddess. Um, Unless somebody wants to go talk to them. And then the, the inn is on your right. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to pop into the, the chapel. chapel. It is closed. The door is locked. Wow. Don't worry. Don't worry, Dad. We can go to church in the morning. <laughs> that sounds good. Let's go have a beer. Um, yes, yeah, sure, beer would be fine, probably. Um, but more importantly, I'd like to talk to the well-respected innkeeper, who, um, Oswald here has assured me is the most respected figure of t in town. Well, I don't know about respected, but authoritative, certainly. Authoritative, yes. Kno knows her he business. Gives, he, he gives people alcohol, therefore making him the most important man in town. Um, it's, uh, to it's a she... Uh, it's we've met her. Her oh, name wait, is Sai. Yeah. Was it Sai? I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. My, my guy, work. I refuse my guy to have like a very good memory, so I don't take <laughs> notes. Okay. So. Um, so the Graymore Bend, the the inn, is a two story structure of heavy logs with a foundation of stone slabs and stone columns supporting this sort of shingled overhang, small porch. Uh, there are benches to either side of the door. And the porch has been quite swept clean of snow and stuff, but you get the impression there aren't a whole lot of people out here this time of year. Um, it's certainly empty now. Inside, there's a quaint sort of tidy collection of tables and chairs. Typical inn, mostly empty. The bar is directly ahead of you as you step inside over the threshold. Um, the half-orc woman, tall, uh, somewhat burly. Oh, so the one that was talking about the body. Yes. The she okay. stands behind the bar. Um, she's wiping a glass clean on thin cloth of her apron. Looks up at you. A grim smile. Yeah, I, I walk up and, and say, couldn't find the daughter. Erin, is it? What, what happened? It looks like the entire place has been ransacked. Um, we, uh... Looked around. Um, it did seem like somebody had left recently. Um, upon our arrival, it may have even been her. Uh, found tracks, small tracks. Maybe, maybe it was her. Um, 
Aaron, run, run off like home. Uh, when was sure the last time you saw her? Oh, it's been. Sorry, I think I gave her a different accent. It's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> uh, she, it, it's been, it's been a few months. Sometimes she comes with her father. To get, uh, If he... Let's see. Heart breaks. Sweet girl. It's been months, you say, that she didn't, since she was last here. Oh, yes, and George doesn't come in once a month. But I think possibly there, you might be worrying prematurely. She could be fine. I'm where, starting... would, where would she have gone? I'm starting to get a bit of an idea of what's going on here, actually. Um, well, I'm I, not, I so I'm going to continue. Uh, I um, am, but Fel probably isn't. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Fel has no idea. I'm going to keep playing dumb. She's 15. It is time for a young dwarf or whomever to break out on their own, right? That's And we found a note from her father suggesting that that might have been the case. Well, she did always want to be an adventurer. She happily sit at the inn all day listening to everyone's stories down, but she wouldn't leave her. She would have said goodbye, at least. Well, you know, her father's dead, so... Her face just falls a bit. She <laughs> goes back to scrubbing at the glass. Can I, can I get you anything? Oswald points to the stairs off to the side of the room and says, I'll, I'll take dinner in my fortress. We Coco. do have some more questions. Yes, just a of course. few questions. Namely, um, asking about if certain people are in town would be my biggest quandary. Oh, well, uh, you... Uh, is it Ulrich? Is that, is that a name? It's Ulrich. Is, is, is anybody oh. by the name of Ulrich? No. No, we don't have Ulrichs here. Using a false um, name. But... How about Sidian? No. Great. So, honestly, um, that does that helps quite a bit, knowing that they're not from around here. Um, Can your, I... your, your question, question away. That was that was my those were my two big questions. Uh, are uh, you... I have a game question. Oh, Nate, go, go, ahead. go ahead first, Nate. So, okay, I always confuse intelligence and wit. Is Knowing better than to ask questions that may be showing your hand. Is that wisdom or is that intelligence? Uh, I could say that. That would go either way. Be wisdom. Intelligence is, intelligence is, is like knowing things. Like things like, you studied. Is facts and knowledge and memory, is, I think, is intelligence and stuff That's like fair. that. Wisdom is knowing like... Knowing what to do with that information. What to do with uh, that information. Okay. Then I think... Um, then I'm going to put this to the group because I'm not a wise person. Should I ask about the sword of the lady? I don't think it would hurt. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it would hurt. Have you heard of the sword of the lady? It's just a phrase I caught. And... Yes, that was the, the, the order of that sort of... I see. Oh, and where would they be based out of? Oh, I don't, I don't know that they have a. It's more like just a conglomerate of. And it was, it was a long time. Twenty-five years. All alone. For twenty-five years. Could, could I have a cider, please? Of course. And I think tomorrow I'd like to go visit your librarian, so if you could maybe draw a map. Oh, Henriette. Uh, she's right across the square from... Oh, well that's mm. helpful. That's, that's very nice. Um, quick question. Um, do you have anybody around here that deals in um, brews, um, spells, anything like that? Someone that deals in magic? Yes. Um, well, that, that would be Henry. 
Ah, the librarian. Well, she she keeps the library. Now. Um, curiosity, do you have any um, crotchety old women who deal in magic of a darker nature, hanging around around the edge of town, sort of? I cough. Uh, <clears throat> so there is someone. Well, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid saying the word. Do you guys have a witch? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's mostly ghost stories, children tell. And yet, this person is well known in these parts. Yes, seen things. Like what, for instance? Just. It's a story we tell our kids. Eat your vegetables or old lady Sybil will get you, right? That sort mm. of thing. I think those. Uh, you know, just sudden changes in the weather or sort of general sense of wrongness. Right. But you never suspected that Sir Tim maybe didn't eat his vegetables. It's a spooky story, nothing more. Where are they about in town? Just in case we may want to poke in. Old Lady Civil? Yes. Woods, but the story goes, you'll never find her in town. Great. I have a the woods in which direction? Do you have... Just a general direction? Dinner and back. Can I ask why yeah. the interest in spooky things? This is this very clearly. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Um, it's just one of those things you get in the town, you, you see a bunch of. Uh, uh, dead people, you immediately ask for the spooky old uh, witch or hag that, uh, you know, magic and and dark things. It, it, it's just customary for, for the coalition to ask these rudimentary questions. It, I whispered to dad, is that customary? <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to make a deception check, I will. Uh, I don't think you have to. It's pretty clear that I doesn't think much of your uh, investigative dubious look. -ish. But I'm really deceptive. Okay, so. she she does she puts a cider on the on the bar. Um, <laughs> gosh, I have that. I'm just picturing all of the innocent women that um, this, that the so, yeah. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll I'll take whatever you think is good. By the way, um, please sigh. Oh, of course. Uh, she brings out some. Air. Um, for for that and the the coppers each. Um, great, and then also one for the big man here, and then I will pay for the drinks for the entire group. All right, thank you. I'm not even sure if I have money. <laughs> <laughs> I think you both have ten gold. Okay, I've got um, thirty gold. Oh <laughs> that's why you don't have any belongings. That's why you have no items. <laughs> yeah. um, um, so that's I, twelve I, copper I, for the. Can three I just try to like? Get her attention and be like, "No, I got this one." <laughs> like, I don't pay for it. Without uh, uh, fell knowing. Oh Jesus Christ! Make make uh, a stealth check. Is it a sleight of hand, like slide the credit card? Move. <laughs> we could do that too. Uh, I mean, yeah, I put it, the money it. on the counter, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Hang good on. luck, Dad. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how to make change down to coppers. Okay, that's a zero. <laughs> um, one gold is one hundred coppers. Yeah, you go to slip her this this one extra. One gold is a hundred copper. Yeah, because one gold is ten silver and right, one. Well, silver I guess is I put a copper. gold on the fucking table. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, well, will you be wanting rooms as well or change? Uh, how much is a room? Uh, well, uh, two two gold for a private room. Um, five silver for a place by the fire and bedroll. Works for me. 
Um, but go ahead and just take a gold piece because I don't like change. Thank you very much. Here, uh, refill. All right, drink your fill, Dad. Mm. <laughs> Uh, that slams back that ale. It, yeah, so I go and I sit down. She uh, she brings out a, a larger mug for for Dad yeah, uh, the perfect. second time around. A, a, a I go gallon and size. Uh, uh, fi find a place like kind of out of the way where we can sort of group up and talk and gesture to you guys to to join me if you so wish. Okay, I want to ask a couple questions of a couple more questions of Sai. All right, yeah. There is uh, there are a couple of other patrons kind of sitting again in, in corners, keeping to themselves. So. Or just silent nursing. Is anybody like eyeing us like wearily or like or like? You took some nervously? some curious glances as as you came in. Uh, anybody look nervous? Roll the perception check. I'll roll all the perception checks, woman. Fourteen. Uh, no more curious, uncomfortable. Um. There's a, let me find my, um, there's a, uh, there's a drow woman, um, sitting, sitting alone in a corner and she's kind of keeping her, her eyes down. She, she might strike you as a bit nervous. Yeah. I go sit right next to her. Oh. Um, well, let him, let, Please. let, 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 <laughs> let dad talk to the barkeep first and get to whatever I'm Yes, doing. let dad talk. <laughs> um, as, I guess, as Sai is bringing him his larger mug, I'm going to say, uh, are you a follower of the moving goddess? <laughs> Have you heard the good <laughs> word? <laughs> uh, well, most of us in town are simply by convenience. It's the only chapel or shrine or by. Do you subscribe to their beliefs? Though? I myself, I've I've been around. I've seen a lot of things. I find it hard to subscribe to any one uh, disposition, but it, it's for most of us, many of us anyway, more a place for community than. Worship. What are their beliefs? Ah, uh, well. I definitely should have known this before I started this campaign. <laughs> um, this is actually one of the canon figures. Oh. So is it I general mean, moon goddess or is it like... Yes. Uh, dark side of the moon goddess. General. Um, okay. So uh, she's... Um, Sort of the patron of um, navigators, seafaring, traveling. Okay. And as one of the canons, I know that it's pretty typical. I don't know, because she sounds exactly like the Wild Mother. To me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the 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 idea is sort of that she she lights our way. Hmm. Certainly been That's nice. A lot of comfort yeah. out here in the. Loom. It's good you have a mother to look after you. Um, I guess Hello. I'm going to go sit with my friend, but um, who is the oldest person in town? The, the <laughs> oldest? Well, the... Hims is gone, I suppose that would be... be Henriette, the... Henriette. Well, if you're, if you're talking relative, I mean... Drow and Elvin residents are significantly older than us. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah, sort so I'm a, sitting... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sort of a hodgepodge community here. I catch a lot of drifters. People looking for seclusion. Was. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm... I just hope it so Tim's have any friend? Who was he closest to in town? Honestly, it was probably me. Came through town occasionally to 
check in on things and stop at the end and was, but he really was a soft didn't like company self out there sometimes i'd send food and provisions hmm. thank you i'll go stand next to fell or I mean, well, eventually, well, while yeah. you guys are having that talk, I'm having yeah. this. Talk. Yeah, so the, the drow woman just kind of freezes as you sit down next to her. She just lets out this little sort of startled gasp. Just, what? What do you want? Uh, hi, hello. Um, sorry, I just wanted good drinking company. You seem, seem to be drink, just sitting here alone, and uh, I thought maybe you'd like some company. Oh, that's very that's kind of you. Uh -huh. Who might you be? My name is Feleron. I'm Salith. Latas. Salith. Very nice to meet you, Salith. Um, a dreadful day, honestly, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely dreadful. We're all just absolutely shocked. Did you know George? Well, yeah, we all knew George. He Super male. He he didn't come through town that often, but when he did, he did good work. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Gotcha. Uh, I'm a locksmith, so I've I've worked with George hmm. over the years. Oh, have you made anything for him recently? You ask. I'm just curious with his death and all that. There's a and oh well, I'm actually not even that he enthusiast. he designed uh, it for me, really, oh, for you, um, did you have some particular need of a oh God, a you don't think or... that's why he was killed, do you oh should, oh, I... Sh 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 should I leave town? No, I think you should just relax, oh my God, perfectly fine. oh my God, oh, lady Sylvan, please. Oh God! Hey, I, I I try to make eye contact with her. She right. she's she's freaking out, man. <laughs> well, I'm I'm uh, you know I'm trying to make I'm trying to calm her down, but like you know this is a game of you know, <laughs> never mind. So I don't know what you, what you want me to do. Should I keep talking or should I? Roll? I mean, how how, how are you, you trying to calm her down? Well, I'm trying to get get her attention, get eye contact with her, and and then speak to her, but. She's uh, just kind of, kind of just looking at her hands, just kind of shaking a bit. I'm just saying, look, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, I highly doubt that anybody is co coming after you for being a person who cr makes lock or being a locksmith. That, that that doesn't seem to make any sense to me whatsoever. Uh, I don't know how unless... many locksmiths you've met, but well, well, I I wouldn't worry about it, but. To tell, tell me, this most recent lock that you made, was there a reason why you would be so nervous about it? Why you would think someone might be after you? Because George died! Well, that is a bit of a, a leap, though. Um, you make a lock for a man and... Then, then... why are you asking me about it? Well, if it's just... not the reason he died, why are you interested? It has... Uh... No. Oh, no. Uh... I, should, I should leave town. I should leave. I should go. Okay. I'm so... Before you I'm... leave town... Why don't you explain to me why it is you would jump to the... Just just tell me what you made the lock for. Just, just. I... Because if it is something that has to do with his death, then surely you can help us find the person who killed him. He asked... She's like on the verge of tears. Well, I and mean, she, like, I'm trying to... <laughs> she takes a moment, trying to catch her breath. She's she's shaking like a leaf, this poor little drow woman. She's she's real scrawny. Um, she looks older older than you are. Um, she... she uh, I made it for the, for, the, for the sanctuary, for the chapel. For the chapel? They needed a complicated lock system? Oh yes, it's, it's the safest place in town now. You know, if we, if, if we if we were, were raided by something or we needed to hole up somewhere, the chapel, 
the doors. Is there a reason why you would need that? Oh, why wouldn't you? Wouldn't you want to feel safe somewhere? Wouldn't you want to have a sanctuary if you could? Yes, but you, you seem very, very shaken, and I understand that this point, died today. At this point, I think... Uh, the rest come up. This bitch is crazy, guys. <laughs> I think I think Sa oh has Sa has noticed what's what's going on and wrapped up the the conversation with that at the bar. And she kind of ambles over and she's like, "Oh, Zaylis, sweetie, it's all right. They're just they're just here to find out what happened." Right there, and Zaylis kind of like, "Oh, I don't know. I, don't, I should really I should should really go. Not safe. None of it's safe. Nothing's safe." Well, I guarantee you this. Um, leaving now in the night, not safe. And Saw so kind of pats her shoulder and is like, they're right. I know this has been a really difficult time for all of us. We're all, we're all frightened. You're welcome to stay here, even if you'd like. No, 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 no. Because I've had too much to do. It's all had. Oh, it's all gone to my head. I should, I should, I should, I'll go to bed. Sleep it off. Sure, I'll feel better. Yes, you do that. And, uh, I kind of... No, I guess Dad was, Dad would say, uh, it's getting late, and if you have too much to drink, you should... Can I take you to where you're staying, and make sure you get home safe? Well, oh, oh, that's all right. Size like all... And then she kind of says over her shoulder, pressuring Zayla to her. She's always been very, very touchy and very nervous. Sorry. Yes. So, uh, Sa disappears out the door with leaving you. Did she, I didn't, I don't know if I missed this. Did she say who commissioned them to make the lock? Um, it was made for the chapel. Okay, but not who so... commissioned it. No, but um, I guess now that you guys are joining me, mm -hmm. um, yeah. well, that was probably one of the craziest women I've ever spoken to. I could not get her to calm down, and it was really, really annoying. Um, also, I wasn't even like allowed to make a persuasion check to see if I could get her to talk. She like not once am I allowed to use the role. It's fine. <laughs> like you, there, there will be other her, opportunities. You could have just made her be crazy. And then, because I failed the roll. Oh, anyway, it's fine. Um, anyways, um, so um, I found out. This, so I just relay the information about the lock. Uh, like, definitely, this woman is the locksmith. She made the lock that was used, um, that was designed by George, and it was made for the chapel. I mean, she said it make it like the safest place in town, which of course is strange that she was so obsessed with there needing to be a safe place. Maybe this curse business is something that's well known or at least known to her in some way. Maybe that's why she's so jumpy. Do we know who the uh, priest of the chapel is? No, but I think that's the first thing that we do in the morning. Or we do tonight when we break in. Do you want to break into the chapel? Because I'd really like to see if I could pick that lock. You don't think <laughs> t talking to them would be... <laughs> Would be sufficient. Well, here's the thing. If you all just want to wait here, I take a little sneak, see if I can pick the Jimmy the lock on the door. It's very interesting when you see people in the night, in the dark, when they think they're not being watched. Um, we can always check them out tomorrow in broad daylight and ask them, hey, why do you need this super intricate lock on your door? Um, but Well, I, su I suppose I'm really conscripted here to be kind of a bodyguard, so that's where you're going. I'll follow. You don't think we need our energy for tomorrow, you know, sleep off today. I mean, what time is get it? Get up bright and early. It's maybe 11 p.m. Um, I mean, I, I suppose if you wanted to rest, I'm honestly not that tired. <laughs> but uh, that's fine. Um, if, if that's what you want to do, if you want to, to pick this up in the morning and, and do, this, be, do this to the public channels. They might be good people, uh, but they have an incredibly intricate lock that um, this woman I just spoke to thought was the reason why George was killed. Now, if that is by but chance... I wanders back in and checks on it. Another round or anything? Food, please. Oh, yes, certainly. 
she disappears into a bar. Presumably, all kinds of smells will spread. <laughs> Okay. I said well, you take uh, us through tonight, and then you can. I appreciate your hobby. I know that you like rocks. Uh, well, I'm not even really that. that interested in it whatsoever. I, I I picked it up because it's very easy to get to people when they're sleeping. Um, Were you an assassin before this? Uh, no, no. I just collected people um, that need collecting. No, no big deal. It's just good way, way to make some money. Dead not people or at all. People. <laughs> it, was, it was nothing. Like, you know, somebody said, hey, I need this. You to go grab this guy for me. He owes me money. And I say, oh, sure. Um, you know, but it's, it's easier if you can get inside uh, when they're sleeping and then you drag them out as opposed to fighting them in the street, going, hey, you, and then chasing them. Oh, God, it's dodgy. Um, yeah, you don't look like you'd be very good at the chasing part. Well, why would I you say like that? It. <laughs> I Four mean, legs course, are better than two. But to say chasing you, of say. course, I definitely run, I fall behind, but I feel like I could chase normal man. Yes, but, you know, from my perspective, nobody's very good chasing part. I they imagine so. Keep, yeah. Um, I come well, back out with a few bowls of beef stew, um, big, big chunks of bread to accompany it. There's carrots, fruit, vegetables. In, cool. the stew. in the stew, there's yeah. there's, the there's stew. carrots and, and v- in the stew. Ooh. Yeah, I, I I drink the broth, just the broth. It's very hearty, very rich, good good uh, food for cold weather. Yeah, Fel doesn't like vegetables, <laughs> and so he doesn't eat them. Um, I, character, I am so hungry. <laughs> yeah, well, we should take a break. Like, yeah, uh, if you guys yeah. want to take a break as your characters so take a rest for the we, night, we 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 eat, we drink. Um, we drink till we're probably fa- fairly drunk because apparently we got an open tab that my gold piece will come. Well, eventually your gold piece will run out, but I, I think it would be, you would be hard pressed to drink that much in one night. So, yeah. Yeah. So we're not we're not getting plastered. I'm just saying. Are yeah. you buying a room at the inn, or are you just going to curl up by the fire? I, I, I thought it was just five silver to just. Yep. Hop on down. So yeah, that's what I was. That was what I was going for. I don't need a lot. Um, I was thinking yeah, about sleeping there's... in the alley. So. I... No, I would buy everyone a room. I don't really do beds. I was kind of thinking about just crashing in this. Okay, I re- I, is there a stable? Can I rent a stall in the stable? There for is. Our there is a stable. But we'll say that's that's five silver as well. Yeah, I'm okay. just gonna Fireplace. sleep next to the fire where I was planning on sleeping anyways. Um, and uh... yeah. <laughs> After Fel falls asleep, I want to carry him up to the bedroom to a uh, separate bedroom. But just waste my five silver. All right. <laughs> no, I'm paying. So that's I got like twenty silver so, that I owe. So two no, gold. Yeah, so on. so two gold for each private room. Cool. Okay. However much it is, I think I have enough. So that's four. Yeah, I'll cover that's it. Half your money, Nate. That's all right. I don't need it. I could just stay. I could just sleep on the floor in your room. I don't need much lifestyle. You're asleep. You don't Squalling. get a say. Dad's taking care oh, of you. All right. Dad's taking care of you. <laughs> does, does he not have to make a stealth check to to sneak me up the stairs, like <laughs> to see if you wake up? We, we see can, if I fucking wake up. We can I mean, roll competing like, checks can, if you can, really can, insist on it. He can. He can spend the money if he wants. I don't care. <laughs> So all you right, all right. Uh, go to sleep for the night in your various lodgings. Take a five-minute break there and resume yep, in the morning. Yep, all right, guys, we are back from our break. Dive right back in with the next morning as our adventurers, I won't call you heroes yet, um, come to and... Um, so uh, I imagine I wake up being swaddled by uh, by Dad. You no, you are not swaddled. I just put you to bed. <laughs> so, so, okay, gotcha. Uh, so uh, so I wake I wake up just completely tucked in on all sides. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, just like in a cocoon. I'm just like looking around, like the fuck. I supposed to sleep asleep by the fire. The rooms are fairly comfortable. It's a. Uh... No. Uh, an actual bed with uh, 
and blankets and but it's okay because i'm no stranger to sleep teleportation um so i just <laughs> assumed that okay. that was fine and uh i i get up stretch there's, uh, a, there's a small bedside table and there's like a basin on it do some washing if you want a, a nope table nope some... dirty dirty works for me um <laughs> and i just walk down the steps uh are what are what are the rest of your routines are you waking with the dawn um, uh, I'm probably up early. Option, I would be waking before the dawn. Oh, you want to but... be up earlier? Okay. Yeah, if 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 I were, had the option, yeah. Should we should we roll for waking order, or or do you want to <laughs> wake, wake the others as you go yeah. out of the room? Yeah, let's let's roll, let's... For waking. roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> roll just initiative. Roll initiative. Oh God, where's initiative on my sheet though? So I can. Just I mean, it's just a dexterity it. check, right? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. In that case, we'll just do dexterity. Oh, well, I rolled an eight. <laughs> right. So it looks like Adidash is the first one awake. And uh, I rolled the lowest number. <laughs> um, you can tell there's a bit of commotion already immediately since you're you're out in the stables by the by the inn. Um, hmm. There's some hushed and hur hurried voices. I don't There's know. the initiative. Oh, oh really? Um, I will go investigate as inconspicuously as I can. So as you step out of the stables, the the it's quite cold in the morning. Um, there's a, a bitter wind, and uh, there's some figures. It's it's dark still uh, on the patio. They make out two shapes. Yeah. One of them seems to be Sai, a uh, large, recognize her. She's like, uh, she's someone smaller than she. Gosh. Come in, tell me, tell me. And they disappear in. <clears throat> I can't exactly go inside without being noticed. Uh, they go inside where? In, into the inn. Oh, well. Yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, when do we wake up? Like later than this? I would give it a couple minutes. Okay. Did that was did I see anything of the smaller figure? Was it maybe the drow that she was talking to the night before? Uh, larger than the drow. Uh, okay. Tall, slender, uh, heavy cloak, but drawn up presumably for the weather. Well. I'm going to go inside, but I'm going to give it a minute so it doesn't look like I'm following right after them. And then I'll go. So as you step in, you see... Not take a seat. <laughs> Sa, Sa is behind the bar. Um, she's poured some ale for this person who is sitting hunched over, um, hood still up, just shaking their head. Muttering. Muttering to Sai. I just, I, I can't. Oh, she knew it was going to happen. She, she asked for my help. Oh, it's awful. And Sai said, we had no idea. Took her home last night. Good. I should have made a statement. Should have. And then she, she notices you at the door and weapon oh i was just looking for the um the guest rooms they're, they're, my friends might sleep late if i let them they're upstairs um oh oh wait i'll go stand by the fire and give them some space i, th I think we should probably wake them you'll all want to hear this and she pats the person on the shoulder Starts up the stairs where she runs into Del as he makes his way down. So yep. they're not actually trying to be secretive. No. Okay, cool. No, they're just, just moody, apparently. All right. Sad. I, I, I come down the stairs and I, I'm just like, oh. So, so I kind of like do, do the, does the shuffle like to let you pass. Oh, God. Uh, good morning. I hope, I hope you slept well. 
I, I give her a, I give her a little bow. Grim grim news, I'm afraid. Mmm, grim news. Somebody else is dead, yes? Figures. I think we should So we... double killer moves to serial killer. Should, should we wake your, your your other friend? Uh Dad? I'm surprised he's not up yet. <laughs> It's the weekend, son. <laughs> um, um, I I, I'm not awake. Yet. I just say, "Hey, Dad!" <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you you come awake. Uh, the your your keen dad senses. I just feel like, uh, Dad. You sense you sense the disturbance. Died again. <laughs> uh, Please always play a character named Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. I come up down the steps. Uh, I don't have my armor on. I just have no, my I, clothes. I on. sleep in my armor, so <laughs> and I'm just like I'm yawning. Oh, I wonder if they have coffee here. Oh yes. Oh, and then he reads the room. He's like, uh, I sorry, I slept so late. It's like six outside. in the morning. <laughs> uh, no coffee, I'm afraid, but something else that'll give you a little kick, maybe. And she brings out a little bit more ale for everybody. So, uh, so, tell us. Uh, uh, Eldario, I think it'd be better. And then the, the person at the, the bar looks up, shakes their hood back. It's uh, an elven person, sort of uh, androgynous looking, young. Um, just tears streaking their face, eyes red, puffy. But just... I um sorry. Daylith the, the locksmith. I um she asked me to come by her house this morning before dawn. She wanted me to help her pack to leave town. And when I got there it's just just like George. Just like I'm sorry. I um, thought she was off her rocker. Her last... Well, what difference would it make unless you stayed there the night with her? She didn't seem like That's she was fair. ready to let that happen. And, of course, she seemed a little bit more worried about... You know, Sai her... just kind of shakes her head and... Lilith was always peculiar, a little paranoid, you would say. She... I don't know what she went through before she came here, but she trying to get away from something, and she's always been really... Yes, just... well, apparently she was not very paranoid at all. She was right on the money. If you'll excuse yeah. me, I immediately walk, and I leave, and I go check at the other house. I, I go straight to where she did the murder scene is. <laughs> I... Okay, well, you, you step outside, and you have no idea where you're going. Uh, um, I, I know they walked right across the street to her house. Well, okay, yeah, down the street. Uh, across the oh, street was well, I the library is across the street. I wanted. To, I thought that me and Dad were watching out the window, making sure that they got home okay. That was. That was. I, I didn't hear that part, and it's dark out there. You, did, you didn't see my. I got night vision. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I do not, so I didn't def definitely didn't see. Well, uh, yeah, but it's it's fine. Whatever. Okay. So, so I will be more saying. than happy to point you yeah. in the in the right direction. Um. I'm assuming no one is did going she, to wake up Oswald. Did... Oh. No, Oswald can go <laughs> suck, a, suck a dick. Yeah, no. Fuck you, Oswald. Um, did, so you said she said she was running from something, or you, you thought she was running from something. Did well, she say what? No, I mean, she came here ago seven, seven years, maybe. Um, a lot of people that settle here are running from something, and if it's nothing ominous. Like I said, she... She went through something. Then. King myself. Should have. Yes. She lives right next door to the to the Fletcher across the, the way. Yes. Immediately, please. Still at the door, outside, <laughs> even just yelling inside. Oops. I just steps out onto the patio and points to the, the Fletcher's um, house slash business, um, number six on the map. And uh, the house next door to that is a smaller, uh, more compact two-story structure. That's where she points. 
So, that's not far. That's like 50, 60 feet away. Like, all right, if each of those is five squares, that's only like 30 feet. Of course we know that's our uh, They're 10 feet on this map, but. They're 10 feet? 50 feet. Yeah, I can see that shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I go straight to her fucking house. Uh, what's the scene? Paint me a picture. The, uh, make a perception check. So it's a, like I said, it's a compact two-story house. The door is warped where it was kicked in. Um, kicked in, so we're looking for somebody strong or hooved. Are there hoof marks on the door? Uh, make a perception check. Or okay. investigation. Uh, doesn't really matter. They're the same. Um, so I'll just, I'll just roll investigation. They're the same. 11. You don't see any hoof marks. No, I <laughs> um, Inside. Just wanted to make sure. I'm assuming you. No, no now, I, now I step inside. I just wanted to make sure that uh, it wasn't it, it wasn't uh, uh, yeah, uh, Dash doing it out of Dash. Um, um, murdering, murdering everybody. Inside, um, the, the key is still in the lock on the inside of the door. And you see Zaleth immediately crawled in the middle of the single room on the first floor. Slashed okay. from shoulder to hip, much like George was. I would like to investigate the wounds. All right. Uh, 15. Um, the, there's a deep, large gash. Uh, again, sort of severing her spine. Um, the muscle cut cleanly through, as if by a sword or something bladed. And then you see two smaller cuts running alongside the larger one, as if this blade had several edges to it, several points. Hmm. Like a trident? I mean, I'm not there, but... Something pronged. Okay. Oh, shit. I mean, out of character, it could be like a claw or not. It could be like a claw. What you said it was a blade, like a blade. It right. looks like some something bladed. Okay. Something sharp. It's it's okay, slashing okay. damage. I, need you, I, I made a so thing. Uh, yeah, okay. But uh, on a 15 roll, I, I want to know, do I get the impression that it, it was made by a blade or a claw, or I'm uncertain? Claws are certainly a possibility. Okay, so is it a single cut, or is it like multiple cuts? It's It's one very large cut down the center, and then two smaller, shallow cuts on either side of the large one as if the okay. person was raked down the back by something okay. with prongs it must be the groundskeeper with the rake <laughs> the rake thank you okay good to know um so he investigates the wound and he, he looks her over and uh yeah you guys can't really see his face or anything so but he's just over her body. Are we joining them at this point? Or following him? That's that's up to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm going to check out the rest of the place. Yeah, though. Is there, is it just looked the dorks kicked in. Anything else of interest in this room? Uh, the, the lower story is a single room. There's a small kitchen area uh, with like a cooking pot. And um, uh, some some chairs and seats. Um, it looks pretty threadbare. Zalith obviously didn't do a whole lot of entertaining. And then there's some stairs up off to it. Sorry, but there are no yeah. other doors on this level or windows for that matter. They're all shuttered tight. Cool, cool. Uh, unceremoniously leave her body and go upstairs. Can I search around the outside of the house for tracks or? Certainly. Clues. Um, roll a. I mean, my investigation sucks, but I was gonna say I will make make it survival <laughs> if you're looking for tracks. Okay, great. You said she was packing up her stuff, right? Uh, Still rolled badly. Uh, Eldariel said that uh, Zaleth had had asked them to come over and help. Okay. Yeah, because she was gonna leave because she didn't listen. Correct. But she died anyways, because apparently they just kicked her door down. Uh, so, outside. Um, Some I think we need to go talk to the priest. Yeah. 
that's that's the next stop. Uh, outside, you um, you don't see any tracks. The the wind's pretty strong this morning, um, and you don't know how long ago this murder took place. But you do notice that. Uh, we know what happened in the past uh, eight hours. Uh, yes, fair. Um, you do notice that uh, there's a there's a window on the back of the house on the upper story that is shattered. Okay, hold I on. I noticed this. She noticed. You can this. see it from the outside, and then Fel can see it from the inside as he passes up okay. by the stairs. Which which way is it shattered? Uh, there is broken glass on the stairs inside the house. So somebody is this is this window like small or is it like people could a person get through it? Yes, a person could get through. And the door was kicked in as well though, the right? The door was also kicked in. Did hmm. they did did Sai and the chick come with us? No. Or the, the androgynous, not sure. They they stayed at the end. Okay. Um Cool. Well, I'm going to investigate the rest of the upstairs. Look around for shit. Check. Check, 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 and see if there's anything uh, out of the ordinary. Uh, natural 20. Oh, boy. All right. So first of all, at the window, you you uh, come to the conclusion that, yes, somebody shattered it from the outside and climbed in, and that they would have to be quite tall if they were going to be able to jump and reach the windowsill uh, from the ground. Um, both Quite of tall, your... or they'd have to be very acrobatic. Yeah, they, yeah, they could parkour. Um, so you uh, you find her bedroom upstairs, um, and there's a few things. She didn't have much, but cloaks and boots and uh, dresses and robes and stuff, kind of thrown thrown about, um, like she hadn't even really gotten started packing yet. And uh, there's a desk um, where she, at the locksmith, kept her, her books and her um, gear. There's, there's a couple of antique locks just kind of sitting there. And uh, thieves' tools and all kinds of stuff. Trinkets. And uh, the, a bound journal with her business records. While this is happening, can Dad go to church? Dad can certainly go to church while this is. I don't think Dad's gonna be much use here, so he's gonna go. To so church. I basically didn't find anything of interest up there, right? Like, well, just clothes. Yeah, and her her business records. If you... I mean, I okay. I checked the business records. Um, it basically confirms what she told you last night that she was requisitioned by the chapel to help install this large lock um, and bolt system that George Gilly had designed. And yeah, okay. there's, there's scri scribbled notes in the margins where she notes that like, if things get any worse, you know, she could hole up in the chapel and be safe there. Be locked from the inside and no be able to get in to murder her. What else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, there's obviously some murder and shit going on. Um, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, return downstairs, um, and then I'm going to move everything off of her dining table. I'm gonna put her body on the table, and I'm going to um, start examining her body more thoroughly to see if she has any other marks, contusions, scars, or All right. curse marks. Am I coming anything. back at this point? Yeah, you've got me with like uh, cutting the clothes off of some. Okay, I thought. Dead we didn't touch day. dead bodies. <laughs> we do, and we're doing something as close as we can to an autopsy. You, you definitely told me not to pick up dead bodies. Well, that was before there were three murders, and obviously this entire town is complicit in this. I'm joking. Please continue. <laughs> Roll an investigation. Uh, Dad, as you reach the chapel, you can see that it is not yet open for the day. A seven. I feel like I should roll medicine. Is there a that's sign okay. posted that says when they when their hours are? Um, no. Uh, but you can <laughs> fairly safely assume that they'll open perhaps when the sun comes up. 
Okay, well, I'll sit uh, by the front door and I'll take it on a block of wood and a little knife and I'll start to whittle. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, ta- I'll, ta- I'll, ta- I'll take my time to, 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 to keep examining every inch of this chick. See if um, I can find anything. But if okay. I don't, I don't, I guess. Uh, I mean, you, the, you see the wounds as I already described them. That's really the only remarkable thing about her body. Okay. But nothing's missing, right? It doesn't seem that way. The house wasn't ransacked uh, like the uh, Gilly I meant, house was. Oh, the, from, the from, body yeah, parts. No. no, nobody yeah. seems to have taken anything. Cause... Okay. <sighs> so, uh, something very wrong is going on here. This curse that was mentioned in the letters obviously has something to do with it. Full moon suggests some sort of shady nonsense. Mystical bullshit. As well, word. I don't know what uh, Tim's has to do with it yet, but everybody but who has this anything to do with this was, lock so far. I don't think this woman was murdered because of the lock. I think she was murdered because she wanted to leave. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see. Considering the fact that she made the lock and, oh, look, nobody died. And then she freaks out about him dying because of the lock and suddenly she's murdered as well. There were plenty of people in that bar that were witnesses to it and I think that one, if not more, people is complicit. The door was kicked in. That could have been from them trying to get in because she wouldn't respond when they came this morning to help her pack. And they could have kicked in the front door for all we know, but it's also possible that the window was smashed in through and they kicked the door in which would suggest multiple culprits. When I tried to get into the church, the chapel, Mm -hmm. was that lock on the front door? You don't see anything from the outside, except like a more traditional, you know, lock and key sort of situation. It's going to be a lock and mold system on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Something, Something unpleasant is happening in this town. And I think a lot of people are a lot more aware of what it is than they're letting on. Well, we wanted to go see the chapel or the priest and the librarian today. I think that's where we start. I take the blanket out of my uh, bag that I stole from mm-hmm. from from the manor and I cover her body with it. Um, but he has a very angry look on his face just sort of hidden beneath like his really shaggy white hair you can just sort of see like a scowl mixed in his white stubbly beard are you very okay dis- very displeased look doesn't respond nice. Where are you going? i just make a mental note that oh, it doesn't matter let's go on <laughs> okay we 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 go follow dad or try to find dad. He's I pretty, suppose. pretty obvious pretty there, sitting. Yeah, uh, as you guys are walking up the street, he like stands up. To... <laughs> oh, is he <laughs> trying to get away. inside? To the you were at the chapel, right? Yeah, the chapel is you, a large yeah, stone. Yeah, sitting outside. Oh, was it I locked still? Yes, it was locked. And I was sitting outside, whittling at this oh. juncture. Great. Well, we won't be able to open it from the outside, considering. My image of the lock, it's bolts, it's locks and bolts. There's no way I'm unlocking it from the from the outside. You could Can say. I walk around and see if there's another door? I'll break another window, I'm not afraid. Uh, you you give the chapel a, a, a look over from the outside, and there are stained glass windows, elaborate, high up, unreachable, but there are no other entrances, just the front door at the top of the steps. Hmm. Dad'll... So you don't advise me to try and kick this door. Is that what I'm understanding? I think well, we I didn't, I didn't see home. any hoof marks on the first door, but there might be some on the second door. Which would... <laughs> I <laughs> imagine go back and compare. It I meant to you think I'm going to break my legs, but okay. <laughs> Just wait till the sun comes up. I'm sure. Well, well let's return to the end of the second floor because I do have a few questions to ask. Um, whoever the new person was. I'm bad at names. 
Sai? Sai, right? No, not uh, Sai. Uh, but... uh, Aradel? That's yeah, not right. we, I, I head back to the end because apparently it's, it's like 50 feet. I just run over to yeah. the end and I'm just like, hey, did you kick the front door in? <laughs> Eldaria <laughs> looks up from the... Eldaria. Yes, she wasn't answering when I got there, so... Great, just wanted to make sure. I'll walk out. <laughs> well, he's gone. Um, <laughs> I I uh, hand out something to Dash. And I say, I don't know if you have a hobby, but it's really easy to pick up. And I have whittled her a flute out of wood while I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. So I, I get back to the, to you guys, and I'm like, all right. Do you guys have any idea what our like um what our pool is with the, as coalition members? Like, can we like like martial law this town? Like, what 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 are, what's the scope of our abilities of of our jurisdiction? Uh, well, we're quite low in the ranks, so I'm not sure we have a lot of pool. Well, because I'm, as far as I'm concerned now, everybody in this town is a suspect. I would like to bring them all out, put them in a fucking line, find the tallest, most athletic-looking person, and blow the goddamn head off. Uh, <laughs> I think you're a little. Uh, I'm not saying that I'll. Right now. I'm not saying I'll do it immediately. I just. I want to at least look into each one of their eyes and see if they're guilty or not before I blow their fucking head off. It's it's up to you. Dad, if you want to, you can also squash the head. Or you can kick the head with your mighty horse. By this time, the sun has started to <laughs> rise. Um, there's it's, it's still fairly cloudy up there. There's not a whole lot of light, but the orange glow sort of penetrates the gloom a bit. And there's a bit of activity in the streets, people starting to come out of their house. For the day. Cool. I go back into the end and I say, "So, si, what's your ability to pull together just a town get together?" Uh, I mean, there's one at the Apple today. Oh, there is. I mean, yeah, I, I won't be going, but a whole bunch of us are volunteering to help Great. set up for the feast tomorrow. I'll be happy to be there at at the the gathering at the chapel. Uh, I would love to help. That's yes, that's that's what I'll be there doing, you? helping prepare. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, are we invited? May we go? Well, the the feast certainly. That's that's tomorrow. Um, it's the the um, congregation will be setting up today. Um, I don't know if now. Father Daragua would, would care to have things, but certainly go offer your help and, and Fantastic. How long till then? Oh, probably just an hour or so uh, after breakfast. Great. Breakfast. I think I've lost my appetite, but um, please do enjoy. Um, shall I send someone over? Are you finished there? Yes, I believe so. Um, I don't think we'll learn anything else. If you have somebody um, who actually can do some form of autopsy, that would be fantastic. A uh, person with medical knowledge who can ascertain exactly with what they were killed with would be nice. Well. Well, about, fairly obvious yeah. in the sense that it was something very sharp. Your Tim's was Billy would have known his way. Well, she weapons. she saw the wound. If it was done by an animal of some kind or by a beast claw, do you think that she would be able to? Did you ask her that? That dash that out of dash would be able oh. to discern via nature check whether or not it was a beast I can try. Yeah. Oh! I think I might know. You 
it it is very reminiscent of Claw Marks in the Wild, although it's larger in scale than or Okay. Was it um, wasn't a wolf or anything common like that. I'm gonna pull fell aside and uh yeah, you might be onto something here. It did look like claw marks to me. But yes, I suspect very it. large ones. <laughs> Did they happen to match a pattern of any form of beast, or? Well, there were three, so I'm not sure I know of anything with, you know, three toes that's that size. Can I make an intelligence check and see if I could come close with a guess? Yeah. Or like, you know, Kate, Kate Waitsy is thinking werewolf. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't yeah, know it's, what it's exactly. It's where something. <laughs> it doesn't have to be werewolves, but that's what Gagnor is thinking. Is, the is, thing is, I have no idea what it is. is what, you rolled a net. Yeah. No, you rolled a four, but you negative yeah. one. Yeah, it's, yeah, you've never seen anything like this before. Um, yeah. Much larger than you would have expected from, from anything. Yeah, I don't know about werewolves because I rolled a fucking twelve to know if I know if my character knows about werewolves. It's the game, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's it's a pretty common thing. I feel like twelve is like I mean, you've heard, you just don't know much about them, but that's okay. Um, you're the GM. <sighs> What's a were hamster? Yes, it's a fucking were hamster. <laughs> Knew it. Um. Right. Well, so uh, are you at the end? You're at the end, right? Yeah, but we're waiting till it's time. I mean, actually, you know, fuck, no, I'm just going to sit there stamping my foot outside the chapel until somebody opens the damn door. <laughs> yeah, so so right around like an hour ish after sunrise, as um, people have actually come to the inn for, for breakfast and stuff, you've seen people go in and out. Um, mm. the, the door, there's this, this heavy blank. And the door kind of opens a bit, and an, an older um, water gentleman, uh, human, steps out. Uh, got these heavy brown robes. He's either bald or shaved his head, probably balding, given his age. And uh, he steps out and sort of turns this sort of startled look on you to see you standing there. Oh yes, can I help you? Oh yes, just here to help with the preparations for the festival tomorrow. Volunteer. Oh, that's, that's very kind. They, uh, we're not quite getting started yet. Uh, people have assigned tasks, bringing chairs and banners and, and food. And oh food. yes, well I just figured since we'll be a little bit short-handed, you might need the extra help. What with um, I forgot her name, but. Fell won it. What's the girl who just died? Salith. Yeah, what was Salith's death this morning? Oh dear. Salith. I would like to see if he is being a fakey, fakey liar, big Heidi <laughs> bullshitter. Roll an insight check. Yeah. I'm specifically looking for that. I was trying to instigate a reaction. Natural 20. Dang. Uh, Very nice. His concern seems a little put upon. Yeah, I figured. He's got this sort of distracted air about him. Uh, he may notice that the uh, a little flash of red in uh, Fell's eyes as he looks at him and he gives him a nice grin. And he says, wonderful, I'm looking so very much forward to helping you um, in her stead. Well, Zalith wasn't part of the... Oh, well, I'm sure that she helped out in all sorts of ways. She seemed like such a nice girl. Tragedy. We... We should hold a feast in the right time. Oh, oh no, 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 no. no. Uh, when misery is around, I think celebration is necessary to keep everyone... In high spirits. When did you say? What celebration? Do perhaps? Yes. It was awful. 
What a loss. What a loss indeed. Well, well uh, he, as soon he, as you he, are he very beginning... He seems very distracted uh, at this news, and he, he, he just, he just uh, sort of shakes his... Excuse me. I, I got myself now. I'm tiny. And... Are you the priest of this temple? Yes, yes. Can you enlighten me about the moon goddess and about her rituals? I am myself. I'm a. Uh, uh, my patron is Garl Glitter Rock. Uh, uh, while while he's talking to him, I want to see if I can peek inside and see if the inside of the door has latches and locks on the inside. Also, sorry, it's Garl Glitter Gold. <laughs> I'm, I'm not familiar with it. Did, 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 you, did you hear yes, me? Yes. Uh, the... Perception. Uh, I was trying to do it like real, like so he doesn't notice. But yeah. Old self. It's still perception. Okay, I'll roll perception. 17. Uh, yeah. It's on the it's... inside of the main door? Yeah, you asked her, you, you can tell there was there was a heavy clank before he opened the door, and that was the, the, the locks. Okay, turning. I was. I was just making sure it was on the inside of this of the front door and not somewhere else within the chapel. Uh, Thank you. He's he just our, our, our lady saloon. She she guides the way in the darkness. It's you don't really have to believe much. You just you just have to believe that where you're going, you're going to be taken care of. That's that's what I try to offer here in Greymore. It was. Cold, dark place for the sanctuary set up and uh, brought up here. Those priests before me. Uh, hope. I think my only comfort in this world is hoping that uh, Our Lady Saloon has been able to bring others guidance when they needed it most. That's a good sentiment. Uh, so, you, your family has been here quite a while then. Oh yes, uh, my my father came here when uh, a young initiate saw uh, saw there was need and set up. And as you can see, I'm I'm getting up there in years now. It was quite a long time ago. Well, bless you and your mission. Uh, now, as you know, surely that outside of the moonlight there is much darkness, and um, I know they are. Perhaps just fairy tales, although fairy tales have some truth in them. Uh, I heard speak of an old lady Sybil. <laughs> well, uh, children do like to frighten each other now, don't they? Uh, perhaps that is its own kind of comfort. <sighs> How did that seem? Did that laugh seem... A bit, uh, a bit tired, a bit, uh, you know, it, it wasn't... Uh, a, a laugh of humor, uh, but okay. more sort of. Uh, yeah, but startled. does it seem like he's faking it, and he actually knows a little bit about Lady Sybil? Uh, you can roll another insight check. Anybody who wants to. Okay. Well, I think that was that was hers. I yeah, think that's I'll what she was trying shot. to ask. But I mean, I'm just not a good investigator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it uh, it doesn't seem like he's. Uh, it seemed like a a, a genuine sentiment that okay it's a it goes same thing i said and uh how do you how do you get along with the librarian here is the henriette uh well she, she doesn't spend much time uh, in the church i Even wouldn't from... imagine she doesn't seem like a person of faith based on what i've gathered uh, no, I wouldn't say that. She's she's got her books and finds. Fell just like looks up at him, and he's just like flabbergasted, like so confused by this. <laughs> yeah, life. like what do you know about her? What? <laughs> when did you hear that? I'm just like. <laughs> uh, the the priest sort of just continues that you know, finds comfort in her books, I suppose, and uh, spends a lot of time at the inn. Uh, I see her now and again in the streets on my way in and out. 
She spends a lot of time in the inn. Uh, yes, I think, I think her and Sai used to have a, have a bit of a... Well, I think they had a falling out. But they were quite close. Quite close. Many years. Mm. He seems real tired. <laughs> well, um... We, we won't bother you any further, will you? We'll be, I'll be returning to help with the preparations uh, as soon as those get underway. Um, have a wonderful well, morning. And, and, and the feast the feast tomorrow. Don't... Oh, of course, the feast tomorrow. Oh. We wouldn't miss it. Um, oh. We'll, we'll say some words. Where the... or is it here? It, it, in, inside, inside the chapel. Too cold for anything. At least for, for my old bones. Yeah. We'll, we'll say some words for the, the party. Yes, indeed. Um, well, good morning. Uh, I have sort of yeah. He he vanishes. So, social cue will help you guys. So as we're as we're walking, uh, I guess towards the library would be our next destination. Yeah, right? I think yeah. we pretty much agree we need to go talk to the librarian. Um, yeah, that line eventually Sybil also, but this is closer. So I was just like he. As did not seem remotely concerned whatsoever about the death that I mentioned to him. That man is suspect, and I think he was aware before her death that she was the, the mention that she had died. I believe that he is complicit in this. Well, that just I'm sorry. That just tells me that it probably was about the luck after all. He might be the next one to show up yes. dead, or he might be the culprit. I imagine that lock has something to do with either keeping something out or keeping something in. This curse. Large beasts. Things are coming to mind, but I can't quite place them because of low rolls. <laughs> As you're standing there talking to each other, um, a... Well, we're walking. Walking and talking. Yeah, okay, so as, as you're, you're walking across the, the square towards the library, a scream splits the, splits the air. Uh, go. We run. Yeah, yeah we run toward it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my glaive is out and ready. It's it's coming from this path off to your left as you're leaving the chapel between the chapel and um library and uh, full dash. As as you run up this path, uh, I I I I, I, I actually I actually like grab. Yet. Actually, grab on to uh, uh, <laughs> add a dash. On to add a dash? Just like, kind of like, ah! Because <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> Just let her drag you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still like moving with my legs, like. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Just running on air. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a, a quarter mile up the path. It's not, not too far away. Uh, this, this path is lined with trees and it disappears into the woods, much like everything else around this town. There's a um, person. Cool. Uh, an, elven, an elven man. He bursts from the trees. And uh -huh. he's, 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 he's pale skinned. His, his cheeks are ruddy. His hood is blown back. He's, he's just running at full, full speed. And uh, he's he's shouting and whimpering and oh oh god oh oh god show uh, us where what show us where now the the barn the barn now go run now show us I'm not going back there you can't I'm not fuck whatever direction he points in i keep running <laughs> i don't i don't slow down whatsoever i do not stop at any point i hope you didn't eat breakfast what he yeah, shouts he's... after you yeah i'm tempted to eldritch blast that motherfucker in the back of the head but i don't <laughs> as, I, as i move past him i i pat him on the shoulder and says get someplace safe it'll be okay and then i charge after Maybe. i'm running Maybe. also yeah yeah maybe i'll just wing him in the leg all right, no. Piece of shit, coward. Uh, get to the. Uh, I get to. We get to the barn. And hopefully, he pointed in the correct direction, and we didn't just run. It's a quarter mile the wrong direction. Yeah, I mean, you you follow the direction he pointed. There's a path through through the trees and stuff. It's um, okay. Get to uh, the barn. You can follow his footprints. Uh, he was yeah. You know, uh, not being stealthy about his retreat at all. 
Um, so, Thorn, it's about 30 minutes walk um, into the woods. Well, how is that a run? Because we ain't walking. Okay, well, we, we can cut that in half. Um, you are going uphill through the snow. Don't give a shit. Run in. <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah, okay. So, you find a clearing atop the hill eventually. And this barn looms before you. It's, it's an abandoned building that parts of it are kind of falling in. Um, as you approach the... Yeah. You, you don't see anything from, from the outside except his footprints. Running. No, I, is, the, is the door to the barn open? Yes. I immediately plow straight through. What do I see? All right. Perception uh, check or... Well, sure, you can make one of those. Are the rest of you going into the barn as well? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll probably be yeah. on the no, stealth. Of stealth it. is out of the question, but... All right, uh, so, so the um, three of you burst into the barn, and you see blood, viscera, body parts strewn all over this room, just thrown about viciously, horribly. It's grisly the corpse is unrecognizable but you do catch patterns of silk robes uh, okay so who was so going so to check on Oswald, Oswald this morning <laughs> it was a woman it was a woman screaming right so the scream you heard uh huh it had no gender. No, it was it was from the just elven, pure, pure the elven man you encountered on the path. Yeah. Oh, it was the elven man we encountered? So fucking when would he have left in the middle of the night? This is just nobody heard him leaving in the middle of the night to go get murdered. In a barn. Did I yeah, did I hear anybody leaving the building while I was sleeping outside of it? <laughs> oh. Um yeah. Did any uh, Hmm. I'm about to start. This, is, def this is definitely Oswald. Like these clothes are definitely his. Do we know that? I mean, can we make a like a recall check or something? You, like you that? can make a an intelligence check. Yeah. All right. Well, intelligence is a fucking nine. <laughs> I have no idea. I've never seen a roll of zero you before. Probably think that it's somebody else entirely, for sure. <laughs> they I don't sure look do. like the same robes that he was They wearing, don't look so. like the same robes that he was wearing. But it looks fancy. Yes, very fancy. Yeah, too fancy for the other people in this town. This was just a bar. There's not a like yeah, a, there's... a house attached to it or anything. No. Nope. Um cool. I go looking for a face. There's got to be a face somewhere. I think I'm investigating the bar. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, y'all. This is different from the other killing. Those were clean, and they were all performed in the same way. Like, murder was intentional. And this is just a mauling. Yeah. So anyway, I'm looking around the barn for creatures hiding in the hay or dark or whatever. Uh... Okay, uh, you can roll and investigate. Let's get another zero. How about that? <laughs> Much better. 16. Just... Yeah, so you, you know, it's, it's a fairly, fairly small structure, maybe six you know, stalls for horses or cows or whoever stayed in here with uh, a little room at the front for gear and bridles and saddles and it's empty of everything except straw and a bit of snow drifting in through a hole in the roof small and, and the dismembered body and the dismembered and I body check the tracks outside the barn uh well as you turn back toward the door it shuts behind you and there's a heavy thunk and the smell of smoke. I would like to kick the door. 
All right, make a strength check. Okay. Would this count as one of my kick attack or just a straight strength check? If you take a running charge at it. Okay, I can do that. I'll take a running the charge at it. Fire builds rapidly from the ground, climbing up this dry old smoke killing. Um are there no other exits to this place? It's just just the the barn door. Oh, I was on the wrong page. Sorry. All right. Well, okay, I, I think we I help, help. We help break the door down. Yeah, I pull out my warhammer and try to get us out, like a fireman style. I'm not seeing any rules. Yeah. No, that's my. I have not rolled yet. Okay. Is there a place to find attacks and roll attacks, or do I just do that? They right are on your sheet. Book? Somewhere ah, under, found it. Yeah. Well, you want to do like an unarmed strike against she, the door? She has a charge attack. But should I just do an unarmed strike or should I just hit it with my sword? Make, like, a, I don't make know. a strength check. It's just a strength check. Or, or yeah, I chose to do an attack instead of a strength check. You I can have... assist her and give her advantage on her. Oh, okay. Well, she did a hooves of 21 to hit the door. <laughs> Why am I not seeing it? Oh, she okay, twenty so one hooves. She twenty one hooves. Yep. <laughs> and I gave an eleventh strength, <laughs> strength check, like slamming into what's the other side. Rushing. Told you it's the whole damn town. Okay, there it is. Uh... The map will hopefully come up. But uh, okay, so you you charge the door. And mm -hmm. uh, this thick black smoke already rapidly filling the room um, uh, as you all gasping and choking as the, the door breaks before your onslaught and you all stumble out into the, um, and into the cold air from out, outside. I look around for someone check. immediately. Yeah. yeah. I'll assist. Uh, you dash so you okay. can roll with advantage. <laughs> 20. Perception check of 20. What does she see? Um, all right. She's looking for our assailant who tried to burn us alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see a trail of a large four legged creature. Um, they are. Prince, roughly the size of human hands, uh, and it's moved off quickly into the trees uh, around the yeah. barn. We're going after that bitch. That we're fucking finding this werewolf piece of shit. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm thirsty for a fight. You run after it. Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. Full speed. All right. Um... Make a. Oh, I've never done a chase scene before. <laughs> With just dexterity, maybe? Competing dexterity. Wait, what are you athletics, saying? maybe? Oh, athletic. Yeah, duh. I forgot about that. Yeah, athletics. athletics. Yeah. I suck at athletics. Let's go. 17. We are so motivated. <laughs> 17 and a 22. Look at that. Uh, so uh, Adadash quickly takes the lead, um, trying to follow these tracks into the woods. And it quickly go grows quite dark under the canopies. And uh, you're, you're following these tracks. You don't see any sign of what made them. And it becomes fairly clear that they're moving much faster than you're capable of. Whatever this was is. I'm sorry. It's it's. What's its movement speed? Be fair here. I am. Its movement speed is faster Impressive. than our movement. Our dash speed. Well, you're assuming it's not also dashing. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. Is its dash speed higher than our dash speed? Apparently. All right. Any change to the tracks at all? They like change in size or no 
Um, but d- the the direction seems to be like straight that the tracks are going in. Uh, no, sort of rambling through the through the trees this way and that way. Uh, wait. What about broken branches? Can we look for signs other than tracks? Yes, uh, you can make a survival check to look for those. Okay. So. Okay. See, now I'm in my element. 22. Where's yeah. this motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the, there are broken branches and, you know, disturbed brush and all that stuff uh, okay. following, will... following along with the tracks. And you can gather that this is a fairly large creature to have I'm disturbed. Gonna, you know, jerk my head in that direction. I, I'm running too fast to stop and explain things, but I will dash off. Towards the broken branches. Yep, following. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll make another um, athletics check. I mean, y- y- you don't really have to. Okay, can I do acrobatics to just get through the things? Because, or is this just running? This is pretty much just running. Thirteen. Uh, yeah, you you don't see any sign of sign of this. She rolled a 22 and I rolled a 13, and we don't see any sign of the sucker. Mm-hmm. Well, she may not have seen the 22. Remember, she was no, not I, getting... I, I, I can see her. Sorry. Okay. Um, God damn. Well, then I guess I have to turn around and... Hey, gang, don't get lost out there. <laughs> it's okay. It's impossible to catch anything. <laughs> Everything is bullshit. Well, maybe um, you should come on back and we can yeah. uh, collect ourselves. Go back yeah. to the barn. No, I, I, I head back to the barn. It is um, an inferno by this point. Oh, no. Yeah, I pee on it. Did we see what caused it, or did it just start to erupt in smoke? The, the fire? You didn't, yeah. you didn't see anything inside the barn. Okay, so, the, okay. the, door, the door closed and was bolted from the outside, and then fairly quickly the... All right, so who saw us running off in the direction of the barn? The elf guy? Maybe the priest? (sighs) Who would have known we were here? I believe it was a trap set for us. They knew we would go for it. I think that there are multiple people in this town that are involved in this. Could be the whole town. I don't like to think that, but... Uh, Maybe this, this whole issue has been a trap. I'm wondering if Sybil might be the next person to visit. She's not one of them, you know. She's an outsider. We don't. We'll, we'll never we find Sybils, but we can run around in the woods and see if she wants to be found. Oh, that's right. I forgot that she was very hard to find. Yeah. Um. In in certain situations, if we had certain magics, this would be a hell of a lot easier. But we're level fucking one. <laughs> I so. know. That's why it's a level one adventure. Like when you say, man, Perhaps. that horror movie would be le- much less scary if people had cell phones. <laughs> Perhaps I could pray to my god and see if my god gives me an answer. Oh, can you can you seek guidance? Like, that would be pretty great. <laughs> I can't act. <laughs> I can't functionally do it. I can fl- flavorfully do it. <laughs> oh, gotcha. You don't actually have the the spell. The thing, like, no. Commune. No, I don't get that until later. Go ahead and uh, and and do what you want. Like a religion check. Well, or just you know describe. Okay. Well. Okay. Hang on, I have to look at my god real quick. Uh, they are Garl Glittergold. It's a gnome god. Of protection and trickery and wit. So, uh, I guess gnomes are good for tinkering. So, I will uh, bow down and start to whittle, but this time very um, religiously, Zen like start to whittle a figure of my god out of a small piece of wood that I have. And while I do it, think about 
Um, can you guide me towards the darkness, towards the people that are trying to hurt my children? I just picture that while he's doing this, Fel and Adidash are pacing around like angrily. <laughs> I'm pissing on the fire, so. <laughs> um, I'm just like I'm just sitting there being just pissing on it. It's like great. A an image comes to you. Um, you see the moon rising up over the barn, up over the village of Greymoor. You see everyone gathering in the chapel for this feast. And you see your vision sort of pan down into the earth, into darkness, through the chapel floor, down and down. I um quickly finish my totem, my little totem to my god. I lay it on the spot where I had kneeled down. I turn back to my companions and I say, The darkness is not in this town. It's underneath this town. It's underneath the chapel. I don't know whether it's a false god or a betrayer god, but we need to go into darkness. Well, I have no qualms about doing that. Uh, I think we should take out the priest. Then just kill the priest. He's probably high. He's probably part of this. Oh, who you most know is part of this. He might have been influenced. Uh, evil entities often have great power over the weak. I'm fairly certain that he was aware again that the girl that died this morning died before I told him. He faked surprise. Well, we know where to go. Thanks, Dad. That was I pretty wanted cool. to learn some more information, but <laughs> if everybody else is ready to start slitting throats and blowing up heads, by all means. But beneath the church? <laughs> I mean, more information from where? Did you want to go to the librarian? That was or... the librarian and the witch were all we had left. I mean, we got a whole town of people we could talk to, but... <laughs> I think we only have about a day before whatever is looming beneath this town. Well, I believe that based on the situation, we probably do, if we aren't ready to move yet, we should stake out uh, Sir Ten's house and uh, and see about uh, procuring that blade in case it is still delivered. Because they may not know about this. We haven't mentioned this to anyone. Nothing's no. happening until tomorrow night, right? That would be tomorrow morning. No, but the the moon the, rise. Right. So we That's, have time. It's before the blah blah blah. Right. Tomorrow morning the delivery might happen. So, and right. tomorrow night is the deadline. So So we should we should plan on doing that if we haven't resolved everything else by morning. That was an unfortunate pun, I'm sorry. <laughs> No such thing um, as an unfortunate. In the, in the meantime, <laughs> somebody tried to burn us alive and then ran away at yeah. human speed. Wow. Well, I'm not the smartest, so I will follow whatever you think is right. I'm not. Don't believe any of us are that bright, which is why <laughs> it's very perplexing that they sent us all here to begin with. Um. So here's what I here's what I usually do in these situations. When there's a scary monster and there's a bunch of people that aren't being forthright, I start being a little bit less nice. Um if everybody is okay with that, um then I say we start holding blades to throats, 
getting people to start speaking more honestly, a little bit looser tongued. And uh, I believe we should start with the priest. I'm looking at dad. What's his reaction yeah. to this? Nate, you're not coming through on the oh, mic. Dad's got this kind of, uh, well, often, I mean, blades might be necessary, but uh, they're, they might not be. People are, are often influenced by dark forces uh, because they have nowhere else to turn. If we give them another place to turn, if we give them some comfort, some light in their lives, they might be much more compliant. Uh, okay. Phil stares at him for a bit and then just starts walking towards the church. Yep. Yeah, sure. We're all heading back to town. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I go. I go straight to the church to the chapel. As you come down the path um, around the side of the the chapel. You can see that there are there's a large crowd gathered on the steps. Um, Thai seems to be standing on the top of the stairs, speaking to people inside. Um, she's got a couple of people around her with really shoddy looking, you know, sword shield. Um, they, they've gathered a couple of torches, um, and they she's it's like, look, we don't know what we're gonna find out there. All right, and it it could be. It could be really bad, okay? So, if you're not feeling up for it, don't feel like you have to come with me, but I am asking for volunteers. And then she looks up and sees you all coming down the path, and her expression just sort of... Oh, thank the gods! Ah, we, we saw the smoke! Are you, are you all right? Yeah, did she try to burn us alive? Yeah, inside check. What? Is she actually glad to see us? I rolled a fucking four. <laughs> she got a 21. I uh, totally believe this. Her chick. concern seems genuine. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. I believed her anyways. Um, <laughs> what are you all doing? What is this? What are you doing? I, w I was trying to get together a rescue party. Uh, oh, for us. I feel a little foolish now, but I'm so, I'm so glad. It's, are, are you okay? What's happening? We heard... Um, well, someone... We found uh, what I believe could most aptly be described as uh, a man in many places. Um, and uh, then somebody tried to burn us alive inside of a barn, while an elven man I'm not familiar with ran away screaming after telling us where to go. So either uh. the elven man tried to burn us alive, or it was somebody else. Point is, I'm done with this shit, and this town has some seriously unbecoming things going on. And I, he just at least scans the entire town. He says, I'm not putting up with your shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Look, half of us are, well, I didn't say half, all of us are inclined to, we don't want to put up with this shit anymore either. Yeah. Good. He he walks straight past her, and he is the door to the chapel open. It's open, and most of the people are filing back in. Where's the, the fucking the, priest? The, the you you okay? Uh, well, as you as you step inside, the chapel is there's a it's in a bit of a chaos. There's chairs and tables everywhere, and people are moving things around and hanging bang, banners, and there's all kinds of and you know everyone's kind of grim and worried and sad and. Um, not not too festive in there. You can make a perception check to try to pick the priest out from the people are filing back inside now that the danger has passed. Fucking ten. Where the fuck is the assassin? You don't see him. I don't see him. Has anyone seen him? I'm asking this out loud. Has anyone seen the priest? Uh I talked to him just I say, where the fuck are you? What was his name? Uh, Father Derigor. Yeah, I, I yell that. I yell that, that in the chapel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he, I was like, did, I, did they ask? I don't know. Um, and I just walk into the chapel, and when I don't see him, everybody, I yell, everybody kind the of the fuck are you? Falls silent. 
and kind of Sai, they all kind of look to, to Sai a bit, and she, she steps into the room and kind of, look, I know, I know things are tense right now, and I know I've been through a well, lot this morning. Well, he didn't but respond, he, so don't... my assumption is that he is not here. And you see some, everyone's kind of frozen, and they're, they're all kind of looking at you like, and there's some children uh, touching the uh, yeah, skirts. Yeah, cool. And, so he and, hasn't come forward yet? No, you don't. You don't see or hear anything. And then somebody, somebody at the back says he he went into the sanctuary. What is the sanctuary? Uh, they they kind of point toward the door at the back behind the um, podium. Yeah, I area. go there. I uh, will. Uh, I'm going to put a heavy hand on Fell's shoulder and attempt to stop him uh okay we can make competitive strength checks i guess which my guess would be i get pulled down <laughs> uh, maybe not i've been rolling like i rolled shit. a 13 <laughs> uh, hang on what's my strength it's, uh, it's not great <laughs> Wait, do I get proficiency on strength? So, Nate, if you just click strength on your... Yeah, you don't get proficiency, sheet. do you? No. Uh, well, I have no idea. Play. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> click, nah. click strength on your sheet, and it'll roll it for you. Yeah, you just oh, click I... strength. Okay, hang on. Just the word strength. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> 20. All right, so he stops me. Not for long, just to pause you enough to advise. Okay, I'm Be soft. Yeah. These people are scared. I know there's a lot going on. I know there's a lot of urgency, but you are... Good, reassure them, and I keep walking. <laughs> I said good, reassure them, and I keep walking. Okay, I let him walk. Uh, I head straight for the sanctuary. Uh, Do we know where the sanctuary is? Well, I, I hope, I hope, I hope dad, you know, does his dad voice. Do I hear dad doing dad voice in the background, or? Uh, yeah, I, we, He's not making a speech, but he's going around to the people there and like trying to do reassuring yeah. comments to them, like yeah. calling up the kids, being like, "It's going to be all right." This is probably making some of them cry because the <laughs> giant dude just walked up to them and said, "It's fine." <laughs> probably he tries to be as careful possible, though. Uh, do I find the sanctuary? Follow fell. Uh, the the it's the only door in the room other than the main entrance. And is it locked? It's. Uh, no. Okay, I open the door. Uh, inside is a 40 by 40 room of white stone with beautiful stained glass windows. You saw them from the outside earlier. Fantastic. Um, is the priest there? You don't see anyone in the room. There's a, at, at the center of it, there's an effigy of Saloon, the, the moon goddess. Um, cool. Where's the secret passageway out? Can I make uh, an investigation check can, for it? You can make an investigation. Yeah, because there's definitely a stupid way in and out, and he pretends to be in here like a little piece of shit when he goes out murdering people. 14. Uh, you poke around a bit. The statue's really the only notable thing in the room, and it's got this large set of wings that can be a lever. Oh, cool. I pull the wings. Revealing a trap door at the base of the statue. Yeah. So I pull that down right as I see her behind me in comes at a dash. Yep. And How big is the trap door? <laughs> it's big enough for you to squeeze through. Okay. Cool. Well, a minute. Uh, I, I say, hey, Dad. It's going to be okay, Chuck. Oh. Yes. Going below. <laughs> And I jump in. <laughs> it's a staircase. <laughs> I follow my ass, and then I get up and I walk down. 
Uh, you said trap door. I it's a trap door. It There's a leading to a staircase. Thought there was like a slide <laughs> or something. I go down the stairs. What the fuck? Yeah, I wish it was a slide. I'll yeah. follow after them eventually. Well, I think I'm probably gonna be a little awkward maneuvering down. So just FYI, it's gonna be slow. Well, I'm I'm tr- I'm trucking. Where, where where's this motherfucker? So there's a it's a it's a long, long staircase. Um, but cool. below beneath the sanctuary, it kind of winds around. Um, um, I'm gonna keep my eye out for traps just in case. Is it dark in here? Do we need the, a torch? The staircase is dark. Yes. Uh, I can um, see in the dark. I have dark vision. I don't know if I do. Uh, I don't believe anybody um, else has. Just yeah, so... No, nope, I definitely don't. I'm going to light a torch. Right? Uh, well, it's okay. She's further behind me, so I'm, I'm moving ahead. Okay. Oh, yeah, you, I'm definitely... You're searching for traps? Uh, I'm just going to just, yeah, keep an eye out for traps. Okay, roll. Is that perception? That. Uh, well... 20. I think technically looking for traps would be. I think I think it's. Uh, it's the you don't. Same, no, it's the same roll. They're both plus two, so. <laughs> you you matter. don't uh, you don't see anything really. It's just a staircase. Cool. Um, when I feel like I'm getting close to the bottom, I'm going to start moving a little bit more sneakily. All right. As. Um, you can go ahead and roll stealth if you. Everybody can roll stealth if you're all trying to be sneaky. Oh wow! I rolled a two. There is. I'm. Not trying Absolutely to be sneaky. Yeah, I was gonna say nobody's, <laughs> especially if he rolled a seven. It's, um, as you reach the bottom of the staircase, uh, you find yourself in a long, rectangular room of stone, much like the sanctuary above it was. Um, there is light coming from a shrine twenty feet ahead of you, and it's just. A couple of lit candles. It's very, fairly dark in this room. Cool. At I mean, foot... I can see just. I can see just fine in this. I'm aware of that. Right. At the foot of this shrine, there is a creature that seems to be chained to it. A werewolf, large, hairy, and before this werewolf kneels Father Derigor, with his back to you, and you can hear his. Hushed words as he he speaks to this werewolf in a sort of feverish tone. Cool, I'll shoot him in the back of the head with an Eldritch Blast. Okay. I'm not going to talk to him. He's murdered three people. Roll your initiative, everybody. I think that's a surprise round. I mean, you failed your <laughs> stealth check, so I... But did he know I was there? Because he's still talking to the thing, and I'm not waiting. I'm shooting him in the back of the head. Go for it. Yeah. That's uh, an 11. I probably misses. I'm pulling up the battle map for you guys. Sorry, guys. I'm not talking to this fucker. No, I was going to no. start charging. That's fine. I only My had, like, good, yeah. man, a whole so. lot of stuff to say. I'm okay with it. Oh, you did? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh, initiative is going to be twenty-three with a natural twenty. Right, so. I gotta find my. Yeah. I I pick... Mhm. Sorry. Uh. Get down and stay down. And then. A little bit later, I might be. All right. Um... Oh, this is wrong. Oh no, I guess it's, I guess it's right. Five plus four plus two. Okay, that's right. Keep rolling. All right. So we have. Um, do we, okay, oh, I see it. It's a 13 for. Yep. 
Yeah, that was real bad. Okay. I rolled a 23 for in my initiative. Yep. Um, all right, so you and you also rolled your Eldritch Blast? Yeah. So nice. that was an 11 to hit? Yeah. Um, I imagine it's... I missed. Uh, yeah, it goes wide, and actually, um, it strikes the shrine beside Father Daragor's head, and, uh, the- Warning shot. The- the werewolf surges up, like, leaping back, um, startled, um, and snarling, and Father Daragor falls to the side, spins to- to face you. What are you doing here? Oh god. I'm following someone who didn't seem to give a shit about a murdered girl this morning, and look what I find! No, him and his beast. You don't, you don't understand. You don't... You, you, you can't be here. It's too, it's too, da too dangerous. You, you have to go. You have... And he stumbles back against the shrine and knocks this mechanism, uh, this lever, that sets off this chain um, uh, pooling, I guess, on, on the far wall, which only you can see your dark vision. But okay. you, you can all hear the clatter as this mechanism. Uh, are you going to put us on the page that, you, that this room is? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I thought I already did. No, you didn't. There, there we go. Okay. So you all have your tokens there at the bottom. And move free. But don't know which one's mine. You're the oh, one yes, with the I sword do. over on the right. I mean, I, I had a guy, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I did the best I could. <sighs> Alright. So we hear this loud clattering but I don't see anything, so I assume it's coming from the direction of the far side of the room. Yeah. And uh, Father Daragor just stumbles. Right. stumbles what do keeps... I see happening there? Just like these chains moving. They disappear into the ceiling ahead, into the room above. Um, Does it, like, slack the chains on the werewolf? No. Nothing seems to be happening other than those, those chains. There's, like, a, a wheel mechanism. And it... it it's very quick. Um, just it's over within a couple seconds, and the thing comes to a rest again. And Father Daragor keeps stumbling back um, behind the shrine. Um, the werewolf is there, hackles raised, sort of straining at the uh, the chains, and and Father Daragor sort of turn turns to it and tries like he's trying to hush it. Aaron, Aaron, it's okay. It's okay. Knew it. Yeah, so he stops afterwards and he moves forward er, closer to him and, uh, and instead of taking an attack on his turn he says that's just I fucking thought and you're protecting the daughter then are you? She doesn't know what she's done. It's look it's, it's awful it's wretched I know. And why did you try to burn us alive a few minutes ago? What? Burn, burn, burn you alive? Yes, a creature chased us. And we, we were chasing a creature through the woods not five, ten minutes ago. And we were inside of a barn and they tried to burn us alive. So Someone definitely shut the door of the barn behind us and put a bar into place. So, it wasn't an accident. Is it, is I don't know anything about that. Alright, insight check, please. Can we do that? Yep. Yeah. Um, I'll assist. Because I knew it was Aaron. 19. Yeah, you're not buying a shit. I'm not buying a shit? No. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm going to blow his fucking head off now. Okay, we'll roll your attack. We are in initiative order. Alright. Uh, you miss. How the fuck did I roll so low again? <laughs> uh, another, another shot, it goes wide. 
I rolled a two that time. I rolled a two and a four. It, like it my happens. Last two attacks. Uh, do you have any bonus actions or anything else you would like to do? Uh, yeah, bonus action. I'm gonna hex his ass. Okay. That means you... hex blades curse. Um, that's that affects your rolls, right? Not mine. Yeah, nothing. You don't need to change okay. anything. He's just cursed. All right, that takes us to Dad, as uh, Father Daragor sort of ducks aside as this stream of, of red light arcs past him. What's the yeah. werewolf doing? Uh, the werewolf is chained to the shrine, and it is it is straining against those bonds, trying to, to get away uh, from... Well, for, for flavor, by the way, I guess since I'm doing my Hexblades curse, I should describe how my magic looks. Um, when he does his Eldritch Blast, you guys watch as it looks like just like red something comes out of his fingertips, this sort of like rusty, bloody color, and then coalesce with like dark energy and just fires off his hand. But when he does his curse, he actually just, you see him reach under his armor and like you hear a sort of like squelching noise as like the sort of, again, rust like bloody stuff pours out from his armor and goes and marks the entity cursing it. Wow. <laughs> Dad, your turn. Uh, well, I'm going to... To get an idea uh, of what he's... Uh, yeah. Fell's got some gross shit going on. I'm so. going to attack. I, I, In case it happens, I want my fine... Like it, I want them to be non-lethal. I don't want to kill him if it happens to get it below his health point. Okay. But I'm going to attack my Warhammer. If I can. So he's moving into melee, huh? You can move your guy on roll 20, by the way. Okay, hang on. Which one's mine? Far uh, left. left. Uh, can Not attacking I... the werewolf, just attacking the dumb piece of shit and trying to murder us all. Well, I... Yeah. How do I move him? Uh... So, I don't know if yours is the same as mine, but under the arrow at the top of roll 20, there's a little cube. If you hover over that cube, there will be a couple of different layers that you can click on, and one is objects and tokens. Mm, I do not have that. Okay, so you should Could be on the token layer me? already then. So, if you hover over your guide, does your cursor change into like a four-pointed arrow? Does Look, not. see, I can move Does my not. guy. I might. Yeah, I don't. I might have messed up. Yep. Okay. I don't have go. the four-pointed arrow either. Yeah. All right. Oh, apparently only you, shared with me. Yeah. Do you have it now? Um, no, I'd probably have to refresh yeah. this. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, you want, should I try? <laughs> um. Or if you can, you move me. Yes, I can. Oh, I have it now. Yeah, she's yeah. Oh. moving and changing it. Yeah, I just I forgot know. to assign it the character. Oh, should be fixed. Okay, I still don't have it, but I'm just gonna move like yeah, straight two to squares up or what, like ten feet, whatever that is. Yep. There you go. Yep. Got it. I'm gonna make a melee attack. Actually, hit him. <laughs> okay. I'm really I'll pissed that I didn't. Do this on roll twenty. Blind either fucking. So hit. you can click on your character sheet on the Warhammer attack. That's what you're doing. Yeah, just click on it. That's all I gotta do. Boom, done. Uh, a missed. nine also, also it it goes wide. He he's kind of nimble for an old guy. Apparently, he he ducks aside. No, <laughs> more like our second rolls look great, but our first rolls all suck. If only you had advantage. <laughs> Which you can only accomplish by flanking. And I ain't getting close to that werewolf. I don't think I have any bonus actions, so I guess that's my turn. <laughs> All right, uh, that takes us to Adadash. So there's, is this an altar or 
what are they gathered around? You said it, it, was a it is a shrine, yes. And uh, passive perception tells you it is not a shrine to saloon. This one looks okay. a little grim. Um, uh, it would probably be an action to look around for a yes. sword, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and no, nope, I don't have good, I don't have dark vision, so no, I can't do that. So yeah, I'm gonna. You got a torch out though. Oh, that's right, I did. It's a long room. In this half of the room that I'm in, do I see any swords or blades? No. Okay. Oh, so you don't have my... a sword. I have a glaive. I'm looking for the sword that they were talking about. We probably need a silver sword. Oh, to kill the werewolf, but yeah. I so like I have a bonus werewolf. action I can do, but let me just make sure that I um, don't have to use my attack or my action to attack. Yeah, I do. So sorry, guys. I will join you next turn because I use my action to investigate. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, on Father Daragor's turn, he lunges towards the the werewolf and uh as he does so his arm seems to bend his shoulders broaden his jaw uh, elongates fucker. and he turns into a werewolf he he starts to turn into a werewolf and swipes at the chains holding the other one setting it free uh, in one vicious blow, and he doesn't quite take on the same appearance as the other one. He's he's somewhere halfway between human and werewolf as he um, rounds on Dad and takes a second swipe. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh wait! And of course, she's not going to roll using roll twenty. No, gonna, but actually that was his action. Her. I thought that was a bonus action, but it's not. That so, is totally an action, yeah. So uh, the, the second werewolf. Um, 17, as, 18, 12, all better than what I've rolled on the attacks on the thing. Um, Father Daragor kind of just shouts, they're going to kill us all, Aaron. They're going to kill us all. And the second werewolf uh, surges forth. Daddy Twent! <laughs> Nice. Daddy Twent. Bullshit. You can come in and look if you want, but no. Who is she attacking? Uh, she she is lunging for Dad. For so Dad. Her pos position as she would be positioned, I suppose. Um. Okay. So. Because he can survive a werewolf attack at level one on a natural. Nope. <laughs> Great. He's yeah. gonna die in the first fucking hit. Um, uh, there goes our cleric. <laughs> well, let's yeah. see. Let's. <laughs> That's eight points of slashing damage. That's exactly enough to make him unconscious. Nope, I have nine points. <laughs> have nine <laughs> Holy points. shit! Uh, I rolled ones, so. <laughs> Thank God for that. Uh, yeah. So that that werewolf takes a takes a swipe, and now you've got this this wound across your from shoulder to to hip, wide open. The three pronged lashes. Yep. All right. That's back at the top of the order with Fell. I'm gonna move through here, turn, and I'm gonna flank this guy. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do booming blade. All right, so you have to make an attack, right? Yeah, it's a... Uh... Fuck you, an Gabe. This misses. is fucking oh. bullshit, dude. <laughs> no, this is fucking rolls. trash. If I was allowed to roll my own damn die, I would never fucking roll a well, five, this, a two, and a five. Uh, consecutively. Curse of, curse of the online game. No, nah, this is bullshit. Okay. Whatever. It happens. Uh, So your attack goes wide. Apparently, I no, I'm supposed to have advantage. That's that's why I flanked. Advantage. Oh, okay, yes. 15. So 15. Yes, yeah, so a 15 hits. I knew there was a reason I did this. <laughs> um, damage is because of Hexblade's curse. Uh, 
I knew there was a reason. I just was so used to looking at the other thing. Uh, it's 13 points of damage. Okay. And he is booming, boomed. So he takes 1d8 if he moves. Okay. And he's he's totally fine. Uh, that is Dad's turn. Oh god, Dad's hurt. <laughs> yeah, Dad's he hurt is. So bad. <laughs> oh, hang on. Sorry, the lizard just walked across my keyboard. <laughs> she does that, yeah. Aww. Very much like a cat. Yep. I'm still good though, right? Yeah. Okay. I did lose roll twenty. Um I can't Can't what? I can't Nope, you broke out again. <laughs> okay, I can't back away without getting an attack opportunity, right? Yes. Oofy doofy. <laughs> Um, I might have to. Oh God! I oh, have no healing. Sorry. Let me check my spell sheet <laughs> real quick. Yeah, we're pretty much screwed. <laughs> I mean, uh, only you'd waited for that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> I oh wait a minute this might be the only reason I was rushing is because we have we're like thirty minutes over already so it's fine I wanted we'll to get the sword but okay well I'll att uh, I'll attempt to cast thunder wave oh okay and that, that will be that's a cone right you can click on it uh, on your character sheet and it'll uh, do all that stuff automatically. Yeah. So you could do that. In, you could do that in a way that doesn't quite hit me, right? Uh, maybe we'll see. If not, that I'm gonna be real pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to hit you. If it's a hit, if it's gonna hit you, I won't do it. But uh, it's one of those things where you're kind of already casting the spell, so. Well, I would know what the spell did. My character would know what the spell did. <laughs> there should there should almost always be a way. To position it so like you should be able to hit them with the corner right yeah I'm, uh... like because it doesn't have to be a cube well it's a 15 foot cube originating from you so yes originating from you oh so if you're within 15 feet of him yeah. no like eight and a half feet because because right? the, the range is the air or the no it's not it's it's a self seven and a half the target is self it's right. self, so it's everything in a 15, each creature in a 50 foot cube. Uh, but yeah. yes. but no, the but cube is centered on him, but the cube is centered on him, so if you're more than seven and a half feet away, it doesn't hit. I'm, 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 th that's up to the GM yeah. to decide. I mean, you're, you're on, you're, you're five. I mean, I don't I'm know. on the other side of the guy. I've never played with maps before. Mm -hmm. So is that, is that 10 feet I'm, away where he's I'm at now? Five. Hey, look at that! Oh, eight, look at that! I am eight and a half, eight point eight feet. Okay, sure. Away -ish. That, eight that, that works. Like, it's hard to say for uh, sure here, babe, because <laughs> your square's not real squares. Well, it's the map that came with the module. Um, so you rolled a. It was well, the I guess you get you I get eighteen H1. because he is flanked, right? Huh? Or is that? What? Yeah, you get do you get advantage because he's flanked. Well, I don't if, even know if, if you, you don't even have to roll an yes. attack roll. Yeah, if it's an um, attack roll, yes, but I just have to make a constitution saving throw. That's what it was. No, yeah, there's no attack on that one. There's no spell casting. Oh boy, throw. that was a big fat fail. It's just a constitution saving throw. So uh, that's weird. Then why does roll twenty roll that for? Yeah, it should have rolled damage nice. instead. I don't know. I'm, I must have set it up wrong. So go ahead and roll a two d eight for for damage, and then they're also pushed. Whoops, that's you. 2d8, you said? 2d8. Yeah. Two. yeah. Uh, can, can I make a, a check to try to get out of the way of the guy going through me? Like a acrobatics check or something? I'm going to knock him Because he's going to... Oh, gotcha. That's what you're doing. All right, so they are pushed. Actually, I only rolled one for this. Still two. Nice. So they both take 13 points of damage. Damn, Damn. son. Wait, did they fail? They both did, yeah. yes. 
So they get pushed 10 feet away. Yes. Yeah, he did that. Yeah, she did that. They're they're 15 feet away. All right. All right. Well, All right. and then can I move then? Yes. Yes. So I will move backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, as far as I can go, I'll get behind. Uh, yeah, that was I literally. Back up the stairs. Yeah, if I can. And yeah, you can slide back there. That's 15 to get where Adidash is. So we'll say you go off the map. Yeah. Back up the stairs a bit. Yep, you should be able to do that. Perfect. Cool. Uh, that's what's what's going At, on now. That's... Adidash's turn. Adidash's cool. turn. Drop the torch that I'm holding in one hand. Grasp my glaive with the bow. And I think, I mean, he's now at least 30 feet away from me, so I'm going to charge the... Well, he's 5, 10, 15, 20. He's exactly 30 feet from you. Take a look at the charge thing. Do I want to just occupy? I think I just want to occupy the. Oh, they're both werewolves, so it actually doesn't matter. <laughs> um, what is my charge thing? Should be under your attack set. Uh, I can make a hose attack as a bonus action. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, nice. Charge to yeah, charge to priest. And so first attack with my glaive. Isn't charge first an attack? attack? No. So it's here's the description. If you run 30 feet straight towards it and then hit it with a melee weapon attack on the same turn, you can use your bonus action to make a hooves attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so. so that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's a good yep. Yeah, that's nice. That's a pretty huge bonus for... For centaurs. Yeah, and my hose attack is is good. Oh, she's back. <laughs> you shouldn't have woke her up. Uh, so I move 30 feet. I'm going to do a glade. That's how this works. That's 13 and 13. 13, 13 That's 13. not super. Uh, it, it hits. Yes. Wow, cool. So uh, my 11s. 15 damage? No, that's not how that works. Oh, I thought I hit the damage type. It's 1d10 no. plus 4. So just slash Whatever. roll 1d10 plus 4. I actually need to know what again. damage type everybody has um, uh, for their attacks. My one that hit was slashing damage. Okay. This one will be slashing. With necrotic involved. Okay. With like okay. Six points, There's my damage. Six, 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 six of those points were necrotic. Okay. Thunder wave was thunder damage. That yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so 10 and points now, of slashing damage. Yep. And now for my hooves attack. So 15 to hit. That hits. Oh, can I say something while I back up? Sure. That's six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. So. What about that arrowhead? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. The arrowhead. <laughs> the arrowhead is for the 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 one we're not trying to kill. So, because I think it might be a charm that removes curses. Uh, so as you you make these attacks, they're they're good solid hits. They don't seem to phase Father Daragor at all. Uh, He's not immune to damage. Bullshit. He might have a huge damage bar though. Or he uh, might be immune to physical damage. To physical. We, fit him, we fit him with light. There's no creature in D&D that's immune to physical damage. Read the monster manual. There's a whole bunch of them. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah they're, they're it's just are. immune to physical damage? Yeah. Yes. Has to be um, magic damage. So my necrotic didn't do shit? The necrotic's not physical. Uh, uh, it's my. She said my attacks were the ones that didn't phase him. Yeah, so that, that wraps up Adidash's turn. It is now the werewolves. All right. Uh, Father Daragor is swiping back at the centaur with a 12 to hit, I believe, misses. Yeah, I would assume that misses. Oh, me. I'm sorry. Yeah, that misses me. 
All right, and then the second werewolf will spin around and swipe at your flank. Uh, with I'm trying to see if I have anything magical, and of course I don't because <laughs> this is the first time I've ever played. We're level one, it. and we're fighting things that can't be harmed by our well, attacks. No, I mean for me it's just funny because I almost always play a magic user. This yeah. is the first yeah. time I have not played a magic user. <laughs> the uh, the second werewolf misses too with an, with a thirteen. Okay, uh, so Sweet. that takes us back up to Fell. But, but he's okay. Uh, so that guy hasn't moved, so he doesn't take the booming damage. That sucks. Because everybody's so smart, and they know all the spells that people use. Oh, he's just hitting back at the centaur who's right up in his face. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a hex on him. And then I'm going to hit him with advantage. Go for it. That's uh, a 23 and a 22. That hits. So 23 definitely hits. And then I'm going to do slash roll 1d8 plus 1. Um, that sucked. Uh, it's 14 points of damage. What Seven type? of which is necrotic. OK. I mean, because it's the hex weapon, so I, I don't. I, I assume that parts of it are physical still. Like it's, it's hard to say because it's my hex weapon. Yeah, you'd have to look at the text of that particular feat. Yeah, but I know when it's my when it's my packed weapon, it counts as magical. But. Well, you, Till did, then. you did some damage. Till then, I'd done seven damage to this fucker, which is uh, bullshit. That takes us to dead. <sighs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh... Okay. Who took the box with the arrow in it? Oh, uh, I did. Okay. I have, or I pocketed the arrow. Yeah. But it's one of those uh, things where I, I think if it's going to have one use and it's going to be like a charm to help them, I want to use it on the girl and kill this other fucker. Has anyone, uh, have you all been hurt or? No, you know, I have not. No, it's just you. So. Yep. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> probably heal yourself. Always kill yeah. the healer first. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I guess, God, it sucks, but I guess I'll yeah. cure wounds myself. So, but hang on, I... wait a minute. How many spell slots do I have? Is it three for clerics at first level? I have two. Two. Okay. I hope this fucker moves and gets boomed. <laughs> so I'm going to cast cure wounds on myself. Uh, Five points of healing. Five points of healing to myself. All right. That's not a cantrip either, right? That's a spell slot. That's a spell slot. How many spell slots do you have? Just one more. Nope, I'm out. Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. Oh, because thunder wave. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. So fuck. Mm, fuck. Well, uh, I, I think I don't think I have any other. Op I can move if I want, right? Yeah, if you have any bonus yeah, but actions, that doesn't really serve any purpose. Yeah, why move? would you come, don't come back out in the you know where you're vulnerable? I mean, even if he runs, he's still vulnerable. The thing will just chase him down. Uh, but anyway, I'm saying don't don't come back down off the staircase. Um, let's see. These are five foot squares. Mm-hmm. Can I move like to the left? Forward to the left. You can move yourself on the thing. Like I around can. the corner? Still don't have like over my... here. Yeah, but up further. 
to about where the priest is. That's pretty far. Uh, yeah, what's your oh, movement speed? 30? 30? 30, yeah, that should... Well, okay, maybe one before five, that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Kind of puts you there. But you could also go yes. 5, 10, 15, 30. 20, yeah, 25, 30. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with being there. Yeah, all right. Uh, whose turn is it? Uh, add a dash. Uh, okay. I will not be able to harm this guy whatsoever. Yep. Not even a little bit. So Hmm. Can you like grapple him? <laughs> yeah, I I can do that. Sure. I will attempt to grapple him. Oh boy. Uh That is a strength check, I believe. Uh, it, it replaces I, an attack. Oh, no, it's ath athletics. athletics. Yeah, okay. Athletics. Competitive athletics check. All right. Making the X space. Come on, character sheet, come back. Ooh, yeah, boy. they can all see that. Acro. Okay. Well, I got a four. Let it. <laughs> well, it'll be hard to lose against that. Now, I don't remember what the grapple thing even does. She definitely grappled his ass. So, uh, the target's speed is reduced to zero. And, um, oh, he's not moving. <laughs> uh, well, he won't take that boom and blade damage. Oh, well. Yeah, bas basically, he can't move. But there's something else to it, right? No. Nope. Like advantage? No. Nothing? Oh, no. They you mean it don't they have disadvantage? To attack or anything? I think it, yeah, he can still attack, he just can't move. I think. Does he have disadvantage to his attacks? It doesn't say that I here. Think melee attacks are advantage on grapple targets? Maybe? So we have yeah. advantage. He doesn't well, have Well, they're at advantage on prone targets, but I don't think grapple. Hold up. 5e e grapple. I could be. I have a, I have a no, DMD. No, Christina's right. I have a DM screen. Mm hmm. Darn. I probably shouldn't have done that. It can't move. It can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Condition grabs incapacitated. See the condition. See the incapacitated condition. That end, it, it ends. Oh, ends the grappler it. Oh, right. is Shit. Yeah, sorry. The condition also ends if the effect of grapple creatures that reach the grapple, the grappling effect just just hurled away with thunder waves. But we can we can retcon that if you want. Yeah, if you if you didn't realize that grappling somebody does nothing. So, uh. Just Let me ask there. you this about that spell or that boom blade. Yeah, if he moves by by will. Okay, he has to choose to move. Yes, I I believe he has to choose to move, which is dumb. Don't okay. Know why. Can I disengage and step backwards in the hopes that he will move I mean, and follow me? You you could, but you're gonna incur uh, an attack of opportunity if you do. Well, not if she. I disengage, disengage first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As the action, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to take, you know, move one square backwards. Without, yeah. All right. Oh, man, this is a pain in the ass. Uh, it is. Uh, the little one takes a swipe at your flank as you move. Okay, and, that's right. Uh, well, it doesn't move out of her. She's not moving out of its melee range. Yeah, I was. I was moving back. Tr well, I was... You're doing the in my head. Action, sorry, moving... and I I stepped backwards, so he's right. I'm moving here. She no attack of opportunity. If yeah, she's no, it's, still in the it's, melee range. it's her turn. It's its turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's turn. Yeah. Uh, so I I rolled sixteen, and that is your AC. So what happens? That on is a, my AC. What happens on a tie? Uh, yeah. the you win. You hit. The okay. attack wins. Okay. Uh. That's going to be uh, six points of damage. Flashing. Okay. Jesus. This is not good, guys. Nope. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other one. Father Dare. Ooh, boy. That was almost a netty twin. Uh, that's going to be a 21 to hit. Is he attacking me? Yes. 
Okay, sure. I mean, that'll you know, hit. <laughs> oh, shit. Refuses. Max damage, 10 points. I'm at 1 Ooh. HP. This is fucking trash. <laughs> You're fucking trash. It was supposed to be with the sword. Yeah. Well, yeah, but we were um, we were you... trying to not waste time. Well, yeah. Because you wanted this to be over. No, but I said we could also... split it into two sessions. Two, two, yeah, two, she did set pretty set on taking on the priest. Yeah, you figured I have, it out. It is, it's also, oh, why did I do that? Maybe not too late for the three of us to go, fuck this shit, <laughs> let's go get that sword. Well, we I, we literally can't leave. If yeah. I move, he's going to attack of opportunity and definitely hit me, and I'm dead. Also, mm -hmm. how much HP can a level one boss have? This is ridiculous. Um, well, remember, my attacks aren't doing anything, so. It's not HP, it's just. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> well, well, I've done quite a bit of damage to him. Well, it's your turn, Phil. Well, I don't really have a whole lot of options, so I guess I'm just going to die. You uh, leave Eldritch Blast. And run. I can disengage and run, yeah, and then he chases me and hits me again. Um, you have the arrowhead. If you run, I mean, you can get past... Add a dash, and then add a dash is going to get an attack of opportunity if he tries to run past. And if he yeah, can I like can I just like bonus action uh, attach the uh, 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 thing to the tip of my weapon and then just stab him with it? The the arrowhead. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you're going to manage to attach that to your boat oar. You could probably just <laughs> take it in your hand and stab yeah, with it, like <laughs> and slap him with it. Well, it's like a knife at that point, right? Like a shiv. Shiv him with it. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Uh, fuck, fuck me. Bonus action, I'm gonna take it out the arrowhead. And then for my action, I will disengage, I guess. Well, I'll move around him. One, two, and then disengage. When that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet. That's as far as I get right there. All right. And I'm holding that thing out. The arrowhead. Okay. Uh, that's the best I can do. She wants to grab it and do something with it, but I have one HP from one attack. This is ridiculous. Uh, Dad. You have one HP from one attack with less HP from a crit than I took from one hit. Just a normal hit. Well, max damage for you. Yeah, yeah. you're, yeah, you're, you're trash. Dad's gonna... Uh, Fucking stupid. Dad is going to move... Um, hang on, let me check this spell real quick. Uh, one willing creature. Uh, Dad's gonna move back behind. Um, kind of in the middle, if I can, since I can't move myself, in that square that's between Fell and Dash. Yeah, you can move yourself there. Or you can move there. Well, I can't Being move. Fell, oh, maybe yeah. I can. Hang on. This one? Yeah. Actually, I can't move myself. <laughs> so we're good. All right. Awesome. Okay. Um, how is Dash doing currently? What, 6 HP? How much Eight. HP do you have? I, I have 7. Oh, yeah. So, so I, will cast, I will cast Guidance on uh, Fell. Okay. And that'll give you one D four on any ability check that you have to roll. Any ability check? Yeah. Okay, that may not help me. It may not, but it's something. Yeah, because it's not even a saving throw. That's an ability check. But thanks. I hope but it he helps. doesn't have any spell slots, so he yeah. Doesn't yeah, no. Like I said, well, I hope actually, it helps. at this point, <sighs> God. Let me. No, I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. Um, and 
No, I think that's great, actually. Um, or maybe that's not so great. Maybe I just cast Sacred Flame. I mean, maybe just do maybe Sacred, Flame. Sacred Flame. Maybe I'll just do Sacred Flame. <laughs> Cancel that. I'll just cast Sacred Flame at mm -hmm. the priest. Yeah. Uh, they have to succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, leave your DC is... It's 11. 11. Oh, shit, I rolled a 12. That's fine. Uh, I'm done. Yeah, okay. So, so on a success, nothing happens? Uh, nothing it's happens. Half to, uh, yeah, it's a cantrip, so it's not half damage that or sucks. anything. Yeah, well, how does he even look like he's taken damage? Does he even look worn out or? All? Yeah, I mean, he's got a he's uh your your necrotic energy and uh, the the thunder. You know, he he looks a little frazzled. Um, he looks a little frazzled. Okay. Well, so okay, he's... more more than a little. He's he's at roughly half health, guys. Okay, I'm just saying, like, is it even possible to kill this guy without the sword? <laughs> In which case, fuck. <laughs> well, it's fucking stupid. All right. Um. Whose turn is it? Uh, that was Dad's turn, right? So that's added Ash. Okay. Um, do you, I know you wanted to use the arrow on the? You can take Aaron. it. <laughs> well, no. I'm, what I'm asking is, do you still want me to just use it on Aaron? Because that would actually be easier for me. Yeah. Because you can just okay. grab it from me. Uh, I've yeah. got it. My hand held um, out. I back up one. Grab the arrow. And then. I guess swing it around and attempt to like place it on her or something. Mm. Like stab her with it. I'm gonna try and stab her. I don't think it's gonna do lethal damage. It's an arrowhead. Yeah, but that's uh, all we got. Roll roll a back. Okay. Uh with the strength bonus. That should be an unarmed attack, right? Yeah, we'll we'll yeah, consider that an right unarmed there. one. You're basically slapping her with an arrow in your hand. Yeah. Okay. Arrowhead. I mean, hopefully, because it's supposed to be a charm that, like, wards curses and shit. It has silver on it, right? Yeah, but it's more it than does, that. It does, but... It's supposed to be, a, like, a special charm. Uh, 24 definitely hits, and... Okay. Did I just kill her? <laughs> um, I have to make a saving throw. Uh, so, the, the arrow... Uh, roll 60. Holy 60, shit! 10? Oh, I'm damn. sorry, Aaron. <laughs> I just murdered this girl. Fuck me. That was, I mean, whatever. We're not going to die probably now. So 38, that's got to kill her. Wasn't the other, wasn't the priest a werewolf as well, though? Yeah. But, but yes, they're uh, both. I had to move yeah. backwards to get the arrow, and I just, you know, honestly, I probably would have yeah. hit her before it's I just like a silver coated arrowhead that's yeah. this is like a module thing it's like a special item uh yeah aaron um fucking keels immediately over. seizes wow. up and, and keels over just uh the the magic or whatever substance in this arrowhead seems to suffuse her body and just drain all the life force out of it she is dead as a doornail at your feet she's dead dead not even just unconscious she's dead I mean, I can make her roll saving throws if you want, but... Yeah, because, I mean... Uh, does she turn back into a human? Or a dwarf? What happens when werewolves get killed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so she... Uh, as, as she falls, her body shrinks and the hair recedes. Um, you see a young um, teenage dwarven girl um, in shabby... No, it's Fivey. Shabby dress. Oh my god. Uh, okay. With a, a bloody... Well, then with the rest of my movement, I guess I'm going to... Um... Actually, how far am I from the priest now? About 20 feet. Yeah, since I can't get 30 feet, I'm just going to go ahead and get... Do I still you... have the arrow in my hand? Uh, it is lodged it's, in. It's in. in uh, never mind. I'm sure I was we gonna can say, pull well, it out I... later. Yeah. 
That's but moving out in the middle of combat. <laughs> I'm okay, just gonna, that's yeah. my turn then. Yep, now it's Werewolf's turn. Uh, so Father Daragor just reaches out. No, Aaron, you monsters! Yeah, well, and, you uh, fucking. He he rushes in. Uh, I mean, I want, I'm not happy about this. With a roll I'm not of proud. with a roll of eighteen, uh, attacks the centaur. Yeah, that hits. Or six damage. She's okay, at one I have HP one too. left. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oof. Um, that is his turn. Fell. You're up. Uh, I'm gonna back up a little bit. And I'm gonna hit him with an Eldritch Blast. Fuck you, game. Can I just roll my own goddamn die? Every fucking time it does this. Because you can't get advantage even though he's in contact with others, right? No, he's not flanked. Yeah, well, I can't flank into an Eldritch Blast, so. Jesus no, Christ. Sorry, it misses. Does, I mean, you, do you still have Hex up? Does that add anything to your roll? No, it's okay. just that I, every fucking time I roll on this, it rolls a goddamn two. Sorry, man. Look, ready? Watch, I'll roll my die. I rolled a 17. Uh, Stupid. Dad, you're up. Okay. All right. So, our poor, innocent dog girl is dead. That I wasn't proud. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's right in front of me. So. I think the only thing to do. Is cast Sacred Flame on him. Okay. Well. So that's I mean, that's yeah. basically all we got is whatever cantrip spell you have, because... Uh, well, this time it's going to work, because I rolled a natural one on his saving throw. Yeah, yeah, I can't understand anything you're saying, but you said it worked, so... I guess roll damage. Yep. Yep. You rolled a natural one, I th assume yes. you said? Yes, yeah. I did. Okay. I did. Did you really? You're not giving. I no, I really did, guys. I no, mean, she's I being really brutal did. as fuck. Okay, she's okay. not. Trust me, she's not doing it. Uh, that's one d eight damage. Let me figure out how to roll that. Uh, sacred flame one d. Yeah, I don't know. So why look at that not... natural twenty. But that's it's still rolling attack rolls instead of damage. It's rolling yeah. attack rolls. I'll just roll it manually. Hang yeah. yeah, you just need to roll 1d8. You must have set yours up wrong. Three! Three damage. All right, well. Uh, he he kind of winces as this, this light uh, bursts down on him. Uh, and he misses an attack. <laughs> uh, does it seem to hurt him, at least? No. Yeah, no, it, it no? does. It does, yeah. Oh. Um. Uh, that's Adidash's turn. Adidash, pull that stink out and stab him. <laughs> um, what kind of action is that? Uh, I would, I would consider that a. Uh... You can say full action. It's fair. Yeah, I mean, you you got to pry it out of her her yeah. body, chest. So strength so, check. Bonus um, action first. I'm going to lay on. Is it land hand? No. What's the one for fight? Surge. Uh, um, second wind. Second, second wind. wind. Second wind. Myself. <laughs> and get some health back. Hell yeah. Nice. I can't do that, so I'm hiding in the corner. <laughs> yeah. All right. What is one that, fucking hit almost one shotting me. Trash. All right, chat. Come here. Where are you? Okay, back up to seven. So are nice. you. Nice, okay. No. Uh, and then the action is to And then my action is to make a, try and pry that arrow out. Make a strength check. And roll high. Hey! 25. 25, wow. 
Yeah. Oh, look at that. Some uh, people are allowed to it, roll It takes nice. your whole turn, and your your hands are a, a bit bloody, and uh, uh, but you you do manage to pry it out of her sternum. Oh. Okay, meatball surgery, I guess. <laughs> All right. So it's his turn now. Uh, yes. Ooh, uh, fourteen to hit, so that misses. Uh, as he takes another swipe at. Uh, the the centaur, whose hands are currently covered in blood of his companion, and uh, there's a bit of a clatter on the stairs behind you. God damn it! As uh, I don't know. I can't handle this shit right now. <laughs> uh, Bell, you're you're on at the bottom of the stairs, so. Uh, maybe you turn and see as uh, Sai Grazara comes um, blundering down the stairs. She's got this rusty old shield in hand and a crappy little sword, and she's like, "Aww, <laughs> I heard a that's my I, girl. I heard a, I heard a. Is everyone a? Oh God, Aaron!" And she sees the the body as she enters yeah. initiative and looks up to see this werewolf creature um, with Father Daragor's tattered robes hanging off of its shoulders and Aaron lying dead on the floor at his feet. And she just, her breath gets really deep and strong and sudden and her eyes just come down into a glower as she enters the barbarian rage. Oh shit, she's a barbarian! And runs in. I don't have a token for her. Runs in with a natural 20. Yes. I think uh, she's my girl. You guys. I'm really not, guys. I like Next time I'll get a mm -hmm. dice cam or something. But the whole point of not doing it in roll 20 is so you guys can't see what they're rolling. But. I get it. Natty 20. I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, what is that? <laughs> she's got a great axe. Uh, ooh, boy. Very is it. Yeah, but she, is she the silver? <laughs> is it a silver? Battle axe, because if not, it's doing zero damage. Uh, well, it's not silver, but it's not just a. Sorry, I said sword. It's more but... enchanted than mine. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's magic. Uh... Why didn't we just bring this bitch in with us to begin with? <laughs> That's you yeah. kind of disappeared after making a big scene. We did. Um, we got very cocky. We were we like, we don't need no anybody. help. We didn't trust anybody. <laughs> we didn't trust anybody. That's true. All right, I gotta find my sheets. Uh, yeah. So she she comes in. Oh, I forgot it was a crit though. Hang on, I get a roll again. Oh, that yes. Uh, she comes in and just lays in with a with a, a savage roar. She brings this axe down. Sorry, I said shield and sword. I forgot what class she was. Uh, it's just an axe brings it down across Father Daragor's uh, figure and manages to split him open at the shoulder across his chest. And he looks real, real bad as we go back to the top of the order with Fel. Die! Eldritch Blast for 25? Nice. Which means it's a crit because of um, Hexblade's curse. Well, roll, roll damage. Uh, hold up here, because right. that means it's going to double all of my dice. Oh, you get 1d10, right? So, yeah. Two, nope. You get 2d10. Nope. What? Wait for it. It's just damage dice that get doubled, I believe. Yep. Because he's also hexed. Okay. It's 22 points of damage. Oh, man, you didn't even need Psy. Um... That's force and necrotic. Yeah, with five hit points left, you basically just, the, the force damage. I just stand up and I'm just like, you fucking cocksucking piece of shit. The force I'm standing here with bloody hands, like, <laughs> yeah. well, that I was just... pointless. <laughs> the... <laughs> the force damage rips into him, finishing size work of just shredding him and splattering this shrine at his back with blood and viscera and both werewolves that his body reverts to its human form and you find yourself standing 
this everybody room. with like one hp okay. <laughs> nice well Sai, we found your problem turns out it was motherfucking werewolves and then i pass out <laughs> <sighs> I, I never oh, noticed I, that. I, actually, I don't know what Do werewolves we, are. Otherwise, I would have known this from the beginning because I knew from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, moon over Greymoor, and you got the mm-hmm. feast of the moon coming up and the chapel of the moon. And, we, and um, I knew who the werewolf was and who was doing the stuff. But uh, you, <laughs> you uh, gather yourselves uh. after this, this combat, catch your breath. Uh, I assume... Somebody will ad- administer some kind of healing. Um, I think... um, nobody has anything. I think, yeah, we uh, just have to sleep. <laughs> to sleep. That's true. You do regain with with sleeping. So Sai will um, will help fell up. Um, she flings her great axe back over her shoulder. It's, it is kind of an old and rusty looking thing, but it has a, a bit of a gleam on its edge that uh, mm. rather nice. Um, she she lifts fell up. Um, not at level one, uh, far. I'm level one. I just hit a crit, and I, but I had him hexed and hexblade oh, first. So chat, yeah, yeah. Chat. but I just get a one d ten. I'm level one. Um. Well, you you make your way back upstairs, and, and that's as... not remotely true, far. No. No. No, at you level five you get two long. beams. At level five you get two beams. Yeah, not it. That's not how it works in five e. The spell text is on D and D. It's it's actually right there on on the screen. You can read it. Scroll up. She scrolls up a little bit. It says exactly what it does in five e. So you you make your way back up the stairs. Sanctuary. And you see there is a crowd sort of gathered with, you know, bated breath, having watched Sai descend this open trap door, following your down into the darkness. Um, the uh, androgynous elf that you, you met that found Baelith sort of seems to collapse a bit in, in apparent relief. You all emerge bloodied, but alive. And, uh, I, I think I'm emotionally scarred. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Moving that was forward. Shit. Yeah, we, we as I'm not even like I'm just in like a state of shock as they pull us out of the thing. The, uh, the, the, the you have to kill a kid. The elven person <laughs> notices the state of you and reaches into um, some uh, satchels uh, at their side and and rushes forward to give um, Bell a potion of healing. Okay, should I just... How much HP is that? Uh, I don't know. 1d4 plus... 1 or 4, Nate? 1. one. Potion of healing? Well, it's yeah. gotta be plus 4. 1d4 plus... Four. 1, I think. Okay, good. Well, you take... Yeah. And then it goes up you take eight, 8 points plus. of healing from this potion. As Damn, chug, okay. Chug it down. And uh, they, they look up at uh, at you all and at Sai. And, <laughs> what happened? Is, is it over? It wasn't was the it? best. I um, just shakes her head. And... Damned. What, what was Aaron doing down there? She was a, um, some sort of uh, cursed monster. Because I don't know what a werewolf is, apparently. Um, and, um... The, uh, an, an older woman um, rushes from, from the crowd and kind of Reaches and takes Sai's hand. And, uh... Is it simple? <laughs> Wait, can we can we still get a potion to the to the to, to Aaron, or is she a dead? Aaron's dead. Good, good god and dead. Damn it. Uh, god damn it! How long? Uh, how many rounds? In two minutes. So... Since we had enough time to walk upstairs, right? Yeah, I, I would say two or three minutes. Uh, you don't have a thousand gold <laughs> diamond. This you? probably wouldn't have worked. Well, whatever. It's probably too well. Late that anyway. spare the dying is a cantrip. Yeah, oh, spare the dying. But I don't he know if he has spare it. the dying. 
But that's probably not on NPCs, right? Yeah, no, it's any creature. Like. Uh, no, but it's like a creature that was rolling death saving, saving throws. throws. Is, yes, but which, NPCs should also roll death saving throws. You just typically don't. Yeah, I mean. Well, but if, if we want to think the, of it. it, it it's up, it's to, up the to the DM. DM. Go, ahead, go yeah. ahead and make a... Um, you want to make a religion check, I guess? And we'll see if your god intervenes. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. It's going to be bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> I will do my best. Alright, how do I get back? To... Oh, here we go. Uh... Religion. And... Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, not good. Nope. <laughs> Bitch is dead. Yep, she's dead. <laughs> yeah, and there's a there's a there's a sort of dark energy about about the undercroft down there. And uh doesn't seem Someone to help us. Someone needs to purify that shit. Imminent. Uh so back up in the sanctuary, uh the the crowd uh expresses their confusion and um sadness, shock. Um I joins hand with this this older woman and um I I, I don't know Henry, Henry how it awful thing. and Henriette says I'll, I'll I'll check my books I'll check my books. You may want to make sure that nobody else in town is in this cursed as well. They seem to react negatively to silver, so maybe um, that would be a good way to check around town. Silver? Well, it's the, the kind of point up to the, the windows, the uh, stained glass, which have darkened as the sun has set at the time that you've been down in the Undercraft. Uh, is, I what I think it is. This is the librarian. It, it'd be out in the moonlight. Hmm. How curious. Uh, I suppose well, I we. I think that was eventually the idea. We just interrupted them. Yes. I think that they were using whatever altar below to initiate the change outside of its normal time. Well, they were going to do something. If that's what you mean. Uh, while you were down there, the bolts on the door but were all locked in. Cool. <laughs> um, so, um, can I go inspect that that lock that they made yeah it's it's just a bunch of iron bars that seem to have this all iron this gear um on the sides of the door that has um spun. yeah it's to keep it's to keep the yeah. locked in is there a weak point where i feel like i could pry it off the door uh you can roll investigation if you want but it's it's pretty solid all the way through uh george gilly was a good blacksmith um, yeah. You do see a chain running down one of these wheels and disappearing into the floor. Yeah. Oh, the chain releases the the thing. Oh, it from below. So we should be able to go downstairs and unlock. Well, it's I'll open go now, try. Right? Well, I don't want to go back down those stairs. So <laughs> one of you with the two legs, can you go try the <laughs> see if the lever yeah, will. Yeah, so we go hit the lever, open the door. The whatever. chain runs, and sure enough, the mechanism releases, and <laughs> the door is able to be opened. Yeah, no, it's 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 uh, it's just one of those days. Um, you need to you need to get all your people checked. Run some STD panels. <laughs> make sure everybody's clean. Nobody's got that uh wolf virus. Dad will. It's an STD uh, panel. <laughs> Dad'll uh add to that. Just stay calm. I 
I think everything's going to be okay. And then he comes up to um, Fell and Dash and pat you both on the shoulder and says, that was something, wasn't it? Uh, we sure did our best down there. And we came out alive, so we should be grateful for that. And then he storms out the front door. Yeah. Just gone. <laughs> yep. Okay. We did desecrate a church. <laughs> I killed a kid. It wasn't great. Nope, I think I hate this job. Yeah. I'm so glad I signed a contract for uh, <laughs> an it's indeterminate amount of time. Better than my last job. And I just walk out the door, too. Okay. Ta-da! Bye. <laughs> Bye, people. So as you uh, go your separate ways to process this how you will uh the room behind you has a color over it as other and whisper about what happened but uh you leave uh graymore uh with the sense that well at least nobody's worried anymore that they might be viciously murdered at any right you've you've done you've done that much for this place and um Although the, the, the place has been shaken and the small community will probably bear the scars of the broken trust for many years to come. Elves will just have to see. So thank you for joining me on this adventure. And thank Yay! you, chat, for joining us. Um, yeah, we're done. Crisis averted. And that was fun. For better and or done, worse. And done in one session. For better or worse, we are uh, several hours late, but you are now level two. We're now level two. Yeah! You can put Graymore behind you. <laughs> That's the exciting Sweet. part. But the important thing is that I get my first Eldritch invocations, which include Agonizing Blast, which is fantastic. I Yeah. Or something else. I've never... Uh, spent any significant amount of time with level one characters but the options are pretty limited yep two spell slots oof well congratulations on your first dming yep. camp you know experience i definitely worried about it way too much once once we got into it i was like this is fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's yeah, a yeah. game those are my first two yeah 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 well thanks guys uh i'm All going right. to say good night to our viewers and take the stream down Cool. Here, good to see you again. And yep. We'll do another one of these sometime. Figure it out. Cool. Oh Hi, yeah. Everyone. Well, so the the D and D Beyond thing covers. Um, we have a, an arena that we play every night. Characters are in here. They're, they're higher level. Sorry about that. Um. But yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Because if all haven't already, I'll let you know. Discord channel. Figure that out. Time, good night. Take care.